Welcome back to the very first episode of Stardust Rhapsody. We would absolutely love it if you would like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that bell so you never miss an episode. Today, we are joining the Stardust crew on the deck of the Rhapsody. We're gonna be bouncing around the galaxy as Mace guides us through his melodic vision. This song will show us what we are, what we were, and all we will ever be. Because we're all just notes in the song of existence the Stardust Rhapsody. So while you're here, be sure to check out our merch shop, join us on Patreon, and become a VIP for our Kickstarter today at thecrookedmoon.com. Thank you. Somewhere lost in the shrouded realms of death lies a land of endless night where long forgotten horrors are revealed to those who travel through the mist. There, in a crooked house, lives a crooked man with a crooked grin who raises crooked arms to a crooked tree at the edge of midnight and hears the whispers of the old ones. They speak of a beast that stalks the darkest woods and darkest hearts, a crown of horns upon its head. If you lose your way, and feel a warm breath that chills you to the bone, run. Follow the songs of harvest time, and before long you'll find revelry in the dancing shadows of blazing wicker. No matter your story, these lonesome misty rails will deliver you to where the hallowed cannot save you. Now's the time to brave the dark wood Beware the wishing hour and weave your own dreadful folktale underneath the crooked moon. Thank you for joining us. Don your sunglasses, grab Ooh. your instruments, Somebody. and lend your cosmic chorus to our Stardust Rhapsody. Let's jam. Some say the universe is a song, that all things are made from the same stuff as the stars and that every life is a note in the music of existence that echoes through infinity. So when you feel insignificant and alone, just remember, we're all irreplaceable parts of that grand cosmic melody, the Stardust Rhapsody. We open in deep space, dark yet filled with brilliance. The beautiful pink, blue, purple, and silver interrupted by the ever-present twinkling of always distant stars. The Rhapsody cuts through, cruising towards its next destination. An enormous purple ship seems to sometimes stretch so far almost as if it is reaching into the past. With a long bow, bow, large twin engines, and a giant stabilizing circlet that spins at its rear. 
To the casual onlooker, it may appear like any other ship, but look closer and you'll see the scars, and in an instant, know that it has stories to tell. Out here, it's easy to feel lost and alone, but not for our heroes. I, of course, use the term loosely. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Through a window on the ship, you can see a uh, hungry pike. Chuckles leans in, serving a pie. It explodes. <laughs> pike tackles Chuckles, who pops into shattered strands of balloon. <laughs> Dandy and Kavir laugh while Rhett groans. <sighs> they each have their own reasons for taking to the stars. But once their path was set, an unshakable truth revealed itself. That whatever they sought, whatever questions they pondered, they could find their answers in the stars. They simply had to ask. It's early morning here on the Rhapsody. You awaken to a day just like any other. Some of you may be in bed. Some of you may be elsewhere. It's at this moment, I'd like to take a second to uh, have everyone go around and explain what, may they, what they may be doing uh, as they're getting started for the day. Uh, and if you would describe your character. Pike, we'll start <clears throat> with you. Certainly. Uh, so Pike would definitely be up early most mornings uh, in his room, uh, basking in whatever radiant energy might be coming in through the window of his room. Uh, if, if we're circling some star or some sun. Uh, being a solar elf, he would absolutely have some sort of resonance with, with uh, radiation. You know, so, uh, cosmic radiation. And um, you would gain it. You'd have a porthole in your window, a star peering in, the light hitting across your face, and you would feel invigorated by it. While basking in this radiance, wherever we may be throughout the solar systems, uh, he would be practicing uh, what appears to be some sort of Tai Chi, almost mm. in a meditative state, uh, working up a sweat and, and staying fit, uh, and thinking about uh, praying that Rhett will have found us a job so that maybe we can afford food this week. <laughs> there will be, uh, the room will be kind of minimalistic. There's not much in there. Um, doesn't really say much about who Pike is as a person. Uh, there are random personal effects here and there, a small music box on the nightstand. Um, and, and he would basically just be practicing this Tai Chi until Rhett calls for him, almost invariably, or he becomes so hungry he goes to look for breakfast. Thank you. Kavir. Uh, so Kavir, like Pike, uh, will be up early. Um, not so much as he likes to meditate and prepare for the day, but he likes to be the first one in sort of the commissary area, right? Viewing, getting an eye on everybody, seeing how they start their day, what they like to eat, where they're going, you know, uh, that sort of stuff. But before he goes, um, his room is relatively bare, uh, except for his clothing for the day and an hourglass that he wears by his hip. So he'll sort of equip himself for the day and he spends a moment in the mirror doing his hair, you know, because he's he is somewhat vain. I'm assuming that's how you do hair. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well played. Well played. Well played. Uh, <laughs> but um, he takes a moment in the mirror every day and he looks at the tattoo on his chest or the runes on his chest, I should say. And it's the image of a clock, but not a clock that anybody can read. Um, and he sort of just watches the seconds tick by, or the equivalent of what would be seconds tick by, as it moves, before he finally heads into the, the commissary. Thank you. Labouche. I wouldn't be the first to rise. I'm not sure I would be the last either. I would be somewhere in the middle. And uh, Labouche, uh, if you were to look into his room before he awakens, all you would see is what looks like a deflated suit uh, empty pair of boots, the actual bodysuit itself, uh, just right on, on the mattress of the bed, and uh, headless. And then on the floor, upside down, you'd see this large bulb, uh, a, a giant helmet uh, with a globe of sorts, transparent glass, or uh, whatever the space equivalent of that would be. And inside... Space glass. Would look like... Oh, yeah, yeah, space no, yeah. glass. Space glass. Yeah. Inside, you'd see a uh, jelly-like substance, and within... Uh, this green and yellowish strange goo, you would see uh, clusters of cells and a pair of eyes looking out. That 
shape would eventually emerge and sploosh out uh, this, uh, the edge of the uh, the rim of the helmet, eventually uh, 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 covering the entire suit, making sure that it is totally clean before eventually sucking inside. Two hands would emerge from the uh, bracers. The boots would then fill. You'd see the actual suit pull it, uh, together, but it's still lumpy. It's still made of shapes. And eventually, the helmet would clock into place, locking. And uh, finally, the hands would, uh, uh, with a few button press, uh, presses, you'd hear as almost a vacuum seals and a humanoid shape finally rigidly sets into place. This is what most people think of when they think of Labouche, and he clanks forward into a standing position before surly making his way through the door and out into the commissary. <clears throat> Thank you. Chuckles. Um, I am, I'll get out of bed, fully dressed. <laughs> <laughs> Just wrinkled as hell. But with huge bags under my eyes and a five o'clock shadow through my white cloud, and I'm like this. <laughs> and I'll reach into my hat and I'll pull out like a can of Barbasol uh, and uh, thick uh, shaving cream and uh, and uh, pat my face and I'll pull out a, like a, a comically large uh, straight razor and I'll just I'll look in the mirror and shave. <laughs> and then I'll go to my closet and I'll open it and it's just a row of the exact same <laughs> coat, the exact same shirt and I'll look through, hmm, what should I pick? Oh, oh this is nice. And I will put my coat over my, my coat and it just nothing changes. Uh, as I um, will, uh, will look down and uh, uh, buy my... Uh, by the by, the door of my room is a pair of large, um, large uh, clown shoes, and so uh, what I'll do is I'll look down, and I currently have clown shoes, and I'll just reach, I'll walk over, and I'll pull them on, and they just squeak like hell as I'm tying them, and just somehow they just sloop into there, and uh, you put I, them on over the other clown yeah, shoes yeah, you're already wearing. Yeah, okay, yeah. just making sure. <laughs> it is unclear what is flesh and what is. <laughs> <laughs> it is all chuckles. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and then um, uh, with that, I will uh, say, oh, I need my coffee. And that's chuckles. I look like a clown in space. <laughs> <laughs> well said. Well said. <laughs> there was Thank, you. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dandy. Well, Dandy is staring out the window. She is not, she doesn't sleep. She's just constantly staring at the cosmos, thinking about different constellations as we kind of drift and navigate through space. And my room is filled with plants and little piles of dirt, maybe little mushrooms popping up, water in the corner, little puddles of water that I'm able to, to move. And I'm really just staring out the window and I'm thinking, well, I'm actually saying out loud, um, I wonder if everyone's up. I am hungry. I am hungry. And then I turn to a plant and I start to water the plant. I'm just talking to the plants and kind of asking if they're hungry and um, thinking about that pie Chuckles gave me last week and how delicious it was and how I just, I wish I could have that for breakfast. And I have gems all over me and I'm really just sweet and naive and I, I'm going to turn and go see if there's pie for breakfast. Uh, and Rhett, uh, if I may, I think that you would be the only one not in your room uh, currently. You would be in the, um, we'll call it the lounge slash your office space uh, at your computer. Uh, doing some, maybe some light engineering. Well, you can, what would you be doing there? Uh, yeah, I, uh, so Rhett would, uh, Probably earlier in the morning. He doesn't really sleep a lot. Um, you know, maybe gets four to five hours if he's lucky of sleep a night. Um, so he's up probably earlier than anybody else. Uh, he would be um, in sort of the the main gathering area on the ship uh, on a terminal um, with that sort of classic kind of greenish glow, uh, and he would be. Uh, Frustrated by the lack of funds uh, that the ship has, 
So he would be swiping through and <clears throat> sort of looking for any lead that he can find to hopefully earn the ship and the crew some money so that they can afford uh, meat. <laughs> um, and he, uh, he, uh, he would pull up his arm and you would see that it's sort of not a flesh arm. It is fully robotic. Looks similar to his, um, his, his right arm that is flesh. Um, but in the forearm is a large kind of monitor with some buttons on it. And uh, he, would, uh, he would press a button. Uh, hey, Hank, buddy, how's breakfast coming? Uh, and then a little sort of like digital pug face will appear on the uh, monitor and it'll go... <laughs> Uh, and in text it'll say, uh, <laughs> we're out of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Uh, and so, uh, Rhett has a, a robotic pug named Hank, uh, who assists him and helps him with things, helps him fly the ship, and, uh, helps him cook breakfast. And, um, how a pug would be cooking breakfast, I don't know. But, uh... <laughs> You know, they they figured out some system where they can help each other, and they're very sort of symbiotic. And Rhett does not view Hank as simply just a dog. He sort of treats Hank as on the same level as everyone else in his crew. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so he would just be sort of grumbling uh, at 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 the at the terminal and uh, and uh, looking for looking for leads. And it's at this point that you would find one. You would uh, be scanning through recent bounties, what you're looking for, anything that seems like it would be worth your while. Uh, And at this point, everything is worth your while. Uh, Because you've been traveling together for quite a while now. Uh, Over the past few months, uh, work has been hard to come by and funds are running low. Uh, Two nights prior, you went into the emergency provisions to check the levels. Only to find Chuckles in there. Oh no! <laughs> His face covered in chocolate, peanut butter, and whipped cream. Scumbag. <laughs> Scumbag. The bigger problem being that he had made a selection of pies and didn't eat them all. He was just practicing his throwing arm. <laughs> he spent hours throwing pies around the room, out the window, all about. Uh, and provisions are now dangerously low. <laughs> Labouche took care of the throne pies. <laughs> oh, I have a tummy ache. <laughs> hey, Pike, why are you so upset? Uh, Chuckles, <laughs> you're killing me, man. <laughs> oh, well, why don't I make it up to you, kid? Why don't we go out in the backyard and throw the pie around like we used to before your mother fell ill? Uh, I, will, I will stare at Chuckles kind of, kind of stoically as I light a cigarette and ignore him and proceed to work over to uh, where I know the, the captain's quarters to be and, and pound on the door. Mm-hmm. Come on, Rat. Tell me you got some good news. Well, <clears throat> I think I got some. I've been swiping right all fucking morning. I think I finally got a match. <laughs> I assumed you'd be using a trackball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. It doesn't fly off into space like a mouse. That's yeah. really better for the wrist. <laughs> uh, so am I, am I in my cabin, or am I in like a main area where people can just sort of basically come to? Great question. We'll say this. When you found the bounty that you felt uh, held promise... Uh, you tapped a call to call to action button. Throughout the Rhapsody, a red blinking light has begun to go off, and this would alert everyone to the fact that uh, Rhett is calling a meeting in the lounge area. You would all step out of your rooms. You would start moving there, potentially Kavir and Pike first. Uh, Chuckles, Labouche, Dandy following right behind. Uh, and you would all make it down a familiar hexagonal uh, hallway. The cold uh, the the cold steel of the Rhapsody beneath your feet. Uh, as you reached the door it would, I don't have Derek's uh, you know, it would you should have told me. Uh, <laughs> is it in his box? No, no. Unbelievable. <laughs> no, you can use the death whistle. Well. <laughs> <laughs> as the door opens Oh god. You so would, um, <laughs> you would, I assume uh, the alarm's just... <laughs> 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 the, 
the door opens and you step into the lounge area. You look out and you see a large crescent shaped purple couch recessed into the floor uh, just mildly. Above it, elevated slightly, you see Rhett's workstation with uh, triple monitors, or even whatever the version of five that is. Uh, several monitors, maybe even five. Uh, Rhett sits at it, and you see it pulled up on the screen the photo of a uh, of the bounty, you presume. Uh, gray skin, elongated face, small beady black eyes, uh, and no hair to be seen. Wearing uh, what looks to be a white coat. Uh, and you'll find your places on the couch or wherever you choose uh, to be. I'd like to, oh. No, go ahead. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll find Pike, knowing what Chuckles has been up to. Yeah. And uh, having <laughs> had the foresight of knowing you're gonna be hungry, <laughs> I'll sort of flick my wrist out of my uh, wrist pocket, we'll call it. Sort of like a sleight of hand thing will pop out one of Chuckles' pies. Uh, <laughs> Kavir, you're a gentleman and a scholar, but I can't tell if you're taunting me. <laughs> no, this is, this is for you, my friend. I saw what he was up to, and I I knew you would be very perturbed if you didn't get to eat. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> a face will appear on the pie. <laughs> It'll be like this. It's like it's like a berry pie, and it's like this thick uh, purple. It'll say "Feast upon my." <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I promise, I had no idea. <laughs> Damn basil berries! <laughs> okay, and I will, I'll grab it with my hand, and you'll just see the pie disappear down my face <laughs> and into my chest somewhere. It's gone. Uh, <laughs> one with the goo. <laughs> <laughs> Again, uh, my eyes will kind of narrow as I as I uh, kind of see what's happening, and I look at the screen and I say, "Ah, uh, uh, come on, Rhett, this guy's a small fry. You can't be serious." Well, I mean, at this point, we don't have any other. Uh, is everybody present? Hold on, let me look over. Is everybody here at this point? <laughs> It's at this point, uh, Hank uh, swoops in and joins you, carrying a plate of breakfast. And you would uh, translate what he's saying is, uh, to bacon and eggs is served. All right. Crew, we got space eggs and space bacon for breakfast. And you'll see very clearly that there's no bacon. It's just eggs. It's just scrambled eggs. Like 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 low budget hotel <laughs> breakfast oh, buffet oh, eggs. Yeah, I see. Yeah. In fact, Hank didn't have the heart to tell you before he got here, but it's not eggs at all. It's space grits. Uh, uh Rhett, I thought you said this was space eggs and bacon. Well, uh, we don't have any bacon, so you'll get space eggs and you'll uh, Oh, this ain't even eggs. Hey. <sighs> Well, it's breakfast, all right? Yeah, yeah. I just run up to it. The Hank! The breakfast! <laughs> Where is the pie? Chuckles, can, can you make me the pie out of this? Oh, yes, yeah, sure. Here, I, I threw all of the pie that I was making. Let me find one that... Oh, wait. Which one? I forgot to label them. There's one that's explosive. Uh, no, explosive. I think this one is for eating? Yeah. Yes, it's... Certainly for eating. Here you go, Dandy. You. I run across the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like slurping like Roll crazy. a d6. Oh, oh, yeah. Chuckles. Oh. The first roll. <laughs> a one. <laughs> oh, no. I ate the pie. The <laughs> pie's eating me. Ah, uh, <laughs> first nice KO. <laughs> What Chuckles produced to you was uh, what looked to be uh, actually uh, not a pie at all. Uh, it was roughly, the, it had a similar crust, uh, but it was dark chocolate. It was sinfully delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> and as you uh, consume it, can you uh, roll a constitution saving throw for me? Oh, oh no! I'm sorry, it goes straight to your thighs, then you blow up! <laughs> oh my god. Oh. And then there were five. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> and then there were thighs. Okay. What did I have for this? <laughs> you do you actually have rules for this? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! So why wouldn't you? I love the pie. <laughs> I love the chocolate pie. As you oh. eat this delicious, admittedly delicious chocolate cake, it's rich, 
It's velvety. It goes down. You pick up on every scent. It's a little bitter, but the sweetness overtakes it. Uh, and as it hits your core, uh, it starts to uh, pulse. Uh, and you feel you feel a weird uh, heat coming from your core. But not like any heat you've ever felt before. Not quite like the heat of fire. Uh, a heat you just cannot place your finger on uh, as it bursts within you and you take seven points of damage. <laughs> Oh, do we see this? Uh, like, yeah, <laughs> you would see this. And out of your mouth, as you release uh, a grotesque burp, uh, <laughs> it would be the, the h- h- just hideous wails. Oh my god. Chuckles, god damn it! You're lucky oh. she's made out of stone and magic. That would have killed the rest of us. Damn. Maybe oh, not the okay. <laughs> I have been dreaming about the pie for breakfast since last week. Can you please check my compost bucket? <laughs> oh. It would not oh. be the first time. Oh, Kabo- oh, Kabushi, you got it. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're okay, Dandy. I'm sorry. That was Ma chuckled extra spicy dark chocolate oh. pie. Oh. I don't like spicy pie. <laughs> well, I like that. sweet pie. I need to buy that label gun next time we're at a port. <laughs> we'll all get that label gun. <laughs> I don't understand how anyone stu- has an appetite for pie anymore. I mean, yeah, I, I, I take agree. grits over pie any day. I'm stuffed. As long as it has nutrients, it's all the same to me. These are, this is great grits, buddy. Thank you, and I'll give Hank a scratch. All uh, right. I, I finish cleaning Dandy's compost bucket. <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. Thank <laughs> you, Labouche. My pleasure. <laughs> Who greenlit us? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> Uh, uh, can we uh, continue and talk business? In space. Uh, yeah, come on, right? Let's get this started. Great idea. All right. We got a mark. Uh, he goes by the name of Dr. Mays. Sounds like the fellow's 6'4". He's about 140 pounds, allegedly. Uh, and uh, they're rating his capture difficulty rating 1 out of 10. So this should be a fucking shoo-in. All right, nobody fucked this up, especially you, all right? What? When have I ever fucked anything up? <laughs> what about when you pull bombs out of your hat? Oh, Or exploding yeah. pies out of your hat? The what? spicy pie? Well, that only happened 17 times. <laughs> <laughs> I can count the number of times you have fucked up a mission on one hand. Then I do this in like 1,100 <laughs> That's so good. Uh, Rhett, any chance this guy is using any kind of... Reconstructive surgery or disguise, advanced technology, anything like that. Well, here's what it says about him. Uh, bounty for Dr. Screamaze. He's wanted dead or alive, so I guess, you know, if we accidentally kill him, it's okay. Uh, he's a notorious research and resource thief. Uh, Dr. Maze stands accused of stealing sensitive research, uh, 500,000 credits worth of equipment, uh, and is now on the run. Uh, we must return any and all research in his possession in relation to humanoid cross-species gene, or gene splicing, uh, genetic manipulation, and behavioral reconstruction mapping. Whatever the fuck that means. Anybody know, know, know what the hell this is? What's the reward on this guy? So the payout is uh, 50,000 credits. Uh, not uh, so oh, much of a small bad. fry after all. Yeah. So... Uh, I think we could do this. Uh, I don't like the idea of humanoid cross-species gene splicing, uh, but any sound of genetic manipulation, I don't like the sound of that. Do we know if he's uh, working with anyone or he has taken this from? Maybe we can figure out where he's going, where he's been. So, it doesn't mention anything about a uh, any kind of accomplices or uh, crew, I don't think. Uh, all it says is that one. If we get the bounty, we turn it in at Space Station Seven Hundred Seventy Seven. So, uh, we'll dead or alive? Dead yes, or alive? Jeff. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness! It's so hard to keep him alive when you bat him. I'm sorry. Did you say with there was like a lead of where we're going? Is that part of the thing? Or we no, don't have we just we no, no, there's no lead. Yeah. Uh, we roll a uh, intelligence check, or mm-hmm. there's probably a. 
I'll take in. No, that's good. Roll intelligence. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it before you change okay. your mind. Okay. And that's where I'm a vacuum. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, first d twenty roll. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. It is. Oh, you know what? I know what it, I know what my plus. Chuckles it is. Dealt first blood. Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, you would know easily that when a bounty comes in, uh, you and Pike would, I mean really anybody on the ship, but uh, you would know simply that there is uh, like a concierge, the bounty hunter, somebody you can reach out to, somebody you can call, uh, who can provide you contacts, who can provide you leads, who can set you up with uh, next steps, maybe more information to point you in the right direction. <clears throat> and that's uh, Kilovax. Ooh, Kilovax. I think the real question here is if Kilovax told anybody else first. How popular is this guy, and are we going to be the ones who get first crack? Well, with a challenge rating of 1 out of 10, I'd imagine we won't be, be the only ones going for this fella. Yeah. Mm. Even the little fish would want to bite to this. But if Kilovax can hook us up, then... Uh, we better get a fucking move on. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh. What's the what's the hesitation? Oh, Kavir, I didn't <laughs> think you would ask. Oh, thank you. I just I'm so tired of corporate espionage jobs. <laughs> Every time we finally get it get a job, it's like, oh, they troll stole trade secrets. They robbed their boss. It's like we're living in a dystopian cyberpunk nightmare. <laughs> oh. We are living in a dystopian cyberpunk nightmare. <laughs> oh, yeah, never mind, let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we have chocolate at Provel, let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, so, uh, I mean, if he's dealing with humanoid splicing and stuff like that, I mean, it, uh... To me, it, that just sort of feels like that the uh, the dwarves might be involved. I don't know for sure. I just got a hunch. Maybe who he's working with? The ether dwarves. Well, Rhett, how bad is that for us if that's the case? I mean, they got heavy weapons. And uh, they know a thing or two about genes, that's for sure. Um, you know, it could just be coincidental. Right, but uh, it's just we may be in for firefight. Well, it's a good thing we're always careful, except for. Oh chocolates. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget about it. Uh, <clears throat> he knows what's up. <laughs> oh wait, so where where did you say Calavax was? Do we know where he's hanging out? You can you can just call him. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. at your leisure. Is it long distance? Are we gonna be charged for this? Yeah, almost certainly. <laughs> yeah, you can't afford it. Credits we don't have. This one's on Did the you house. you say we just call him? Yeah. yeah. He's a contact. Kilovax. 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 The Kilovax. <laughs> Are you there? No, Dandy, we have to use the radio. He's not here. Oh, the radio. Yeah. Did that? he pick up? Yes. He what did. do you say? Tell him I hi from Chuckle. Him. They said I could just call. Kilovax! <laughs> Where's the radio? Kilovax! You have, you have to say, hey, Hank, first for it to, to Hanky. pick up. <laughs> Come here, Hanky! Kilovax! Hey, Hank! And then he'll activate it. <laughs> Start like glowing. <laughs> <laughs> Call Kilovax! He starts calling him. Were you Call, were calling you Kill him off. Yeah. Oh, damn it. Kill him off. No, 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 no. What did you say? Uh, Call Tom? <laughs> no, no. Well, that guy's dead. I should remove him from my contacts. <laughs> you, you see a tiny icon and a line next to a globe. It's like. Beep. <laughs> 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 exactly what it's like. You've got <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> All of that happens canonically. Um, <laughs> it, it's at this point that Kilovax answers, and on your screen layout on your video call, you see uh, this creature pick up. Once again, uh, bald, large, large features, 
strong, enormous jaw. Feels like 50% of his face. Ooh. Craggly cut. Looks like he could be carved from stone. Uh, if his oh, jaw shit. could cut glass, it would instead smash through 40 panes. <laughs> um, he has a large, uh, prominent brow with kind of inset uh, dark black eyes. <clears throat> uh, Calavax, buddy, how you doing? Right. Good morning. You're still hunting. No, we're still hunting. Yep, yep, yep. I haven't moved on with my life yet. Are you still flying around with that pretty boy? Well, he, he, he can hear you, by the way. You're on speaker. <laughs> hey, Calavax. <laughs> I'm not talking about you, you skinny, you skinny elf. I'm talking about the other one. One oh. always gets you into trouble. He... He can hear you too. <laughs> I think he means you, Kavir. Anyway, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you kill a bat. You're oh. such a charmer. <laughs> oh, I was just, there he is. <laughs> oh, I'm blushing. <clears throat> what are you calling for? Uh, so, uh, you ever heard of this guy named, uh, Dr. Scree Maze? Just picked up a bounty on this feller, and, uh, no information on where he might be, where he was last seen. I'm hoping that you know somebody that might know somebody that might know somebody that maybe knows where he is. Oh, you're hunting Maze, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I got, uh, I got a little insight onto where he might be. What, uh, what's in it for me, for the information? Well, uh, if you could accept an IOU, we could give you a cut of the bounty. I think, uh, 10% would, uh, would entice me. 10%?! <laughs> he is crazy. How about 2%? percent i go to 8 that's two percent lower than ten. Go lower. Three. Kilovax, you're killing us. We haven't had protein in a week. Listen, your guts aren't my problem. I got my own mouths to feed. Uh, all right. Five percent. Oh wait, unless you're gonna say all right to eight. No, no, no. I'm not saying, no, please, please go ahead. Five percent. I'll give you the info. What do we think? I think five is good. Five percent. I think we can get him to twelve. <laughs> I don't Wrong care. way, Chuckles. Oh, no. oh, don't listen to Chuckles. Just do it. Just do it. Dandy, uh, crunch the numbers on this. What's 5% of 50,000 credits? Uh, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. No, that's not how I think. Uh, <laughs> 2,500 credits. Oh, that's a lot. I mean, look. Let's consider this an investment. All right, you got a deal. 5%. Perfect. I will do anything for normal pie. Again. <laughs> I like puke a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> Just thinking of pie. <laughs> Protein? <laughs> anything you make me. Alright, here's the deal, Rhett. Uh, he was last seen. It's, it's heard he picked up a ton of tech from the Empire. It's heard that uh, he ran it all out to some asteroid field out on the edge of space. He's got some kind of hidden base out that way. Be careful, though, man. I know what the sheet says, but there's something about this guy. When he started off, people were going missing. I don't know that he's as easy as what they put him out for, but I can upload the coordinates to his last known location to your nav. All right, I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Going missing, you said? Yeah, I, nobody could find him. It was always around where he was. I don't know. Bounty's in for him stealing gear from the Empire, though, so... Just something about this doesn't feel quite right to me. An Empire job. All right. Well, yeah, send over the coordinates, and I'll have Danny take a look. All right. Good luck out there. Looking forward to my 5%. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you know that five percent of nothing is fucking nothing. Oh, <laughs> God, that would have been a really cool thing to say. Right? Don't don't think think it. It. Look, we gotta keep every fucking contact we have. All right, we've gotta maintain at least some sort of friendly fucking relation with this guy. Yeah, and he's been helpful in the past. That's true. Yeah, that's a lot of credit. 
a lot less credits than we started. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have 95% of 500,000 credits. And, uh, you know, that'll be enough to get us to our next job. Oh, wait. If it's an Empire job, what's the tax rate on that? <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry to break the bad news and ask the tough question, Brett. <laughs> It's a five-finger discount. It's okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with Kavir here. <laughs> the Empire, what the Empire doesn't know won't hurt him. I trust you guys. What oh, concerns me. Oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. The people missing. The tech he's stolen. He's got to be experimenting. Which means we might meet one of these experiments. Yeah, he's got some kind of fucking security. If... There are other bounty hunters that are going after this fella, and they're ending up dead. That's not a one out of ten job. Maybe they were zero out of ten bounty hunters. (laughs) 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 They met up on meetup.spacecom, you know? (laughs) Space.meetup.com. (laughs) Space.meetup.com. Obviously. Uh, so at this point, you get a ping at your terminal, and you see a message from Kilovax that presents just uh, simple coordinates uh, into deep into the edges of space. All Do right. We- I'll kind of hit on the terminal, and I'll pull them up, and I'll get up out of my chair. Take a look. Uh, uh, what's our ETA looking like? Oh, let's see. I'd, I'd say ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Close hey, right over there! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Holy shit, he's right there! <laughs> hey, hey, you no know fucking way! You, you can, can call him! Space hey! <laughs> Doc! We're coming! <laughs> <laughs> He's wearing a big Groucho Marx. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Danny, you take your seat at the terminal. You I take the place of this. Rat. <laughs> you take the place of Rat. You are very good at this. Star maps for the entire galaxy uh, live within your brain. Um, you take a look at what's out there, and immediately you are able to chart the uh, fastest course. Uh, you know, without FTL travel, it would take days to get oh, there. Days, I mean. <laughs> oh, ten days. But yeah. depends ten on theta days. d. Sorry. That's right. What's the theta d? The pi really messed me up. Oh. I think it's still in there. <laughs> well, you know, you're not supposed to eat dessert for breakfast. Oh, whatever. Uh, eating pie for breakfast is ridiculous, but you know, muffins and uh, pancakes on the other hand. <laughs> I meant ten days. I am sorry, friends. I am so sorry. You begin to chart this course knowing that uh, it would take quite a while if you were to just navigate there through space, but you have means to travel that is even faster than FTL. You have chuckles. We can always risk it. (laughs) Oh, God. I really don't want to risk it for 50 grand. I mean, are we going to make it 10 days, Rhett? Without any money or food? Or with Chuckles? He does yeah, mess up right. sometimes, but we love him. We love the Chuckles. Let's let him make us go fast. I what? mean, just a little slip into the honk stream. <laughs> and we're there. The honk stream. We the gotta make stream? him we gotta make oh, him yeah. earn his keep, Rhett. Come on. Well. I can get us wherever we need to go. Especially I'm, with Chuckles. I feel like a te- we could follow Dandy's path and perhaps prepare for 10 days. I have it all. It's, you know, A to B. And if any b- bounty hunters beat us there, they'll probably die terribly. <laughs> right? Well, <clears throat> play it safe or we can play it fast. I have a feeling like if we wait 10 days, we're going to be beat to the punch. So, if you open this fucking thing, you guarantee we're gonna make it out in one piece? It depends on what you mean by guarantee. I can guarantee I'll give you my best Chuckles guarantee shot. Look, Red, I don't like it either, but why else do we keep Chuckles around? If not for this, this is when we need him. 
Uh, I just got the heebie-jeebies last time. It doesn't feel good. Uh, tell me about it. Yeah. I still have nightmares. I still don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just don't. When we go into the honk stream, don't look out the porthole. <laughs> oh, that? That uh, was fun. Like cotton candy in the sky. You truly have the mind of a god. Thank <laughs> you. The resilience of impeccable dandy. Don't hide that in a bushel. Okay. Can you also not sing that song this time? <laughs> that did not help um, cool. Why? Why? It creeps me out. <laughs> Which takes a lot. Ah. Uh, well, I mean, I don't need to do it. It just helps me focus. You said you had to. <laughs> I mean, I have to do it. <laughs> I like look around trying to think back. Maybe you could choose a different song. <clears throat> oh yeah, I think I can choose a different song this time. Maybe it won't annoy you. It probably will. <laughs> <laughs> For those of us that don't know, what are we referencing? Is that the one where he cuts the head off a chicken? Is that what you're referring to? <laughs> I'm, I'm referencing... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm referencing the tunnel in Willa Wonka. Uh, yes, 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 exactly. Yes. <laughs> nice. uh, huh? What are we referencing? What are we? What are we Ooh, talking about? Here? Okay, so everyone on the Rhapsody plays their part. Uh, Rhett is the captain and engineer. Pike is the expert bounty hunter. Kavir is the smuggler. Dandy handles the star maps and is the true navigator. Can get them anywhere. Labouche is the juicer. He is uh, the muscle. Uh, he can handle anything that comes up and chuckles. He's also the janitor. <laughs> Don't forget yeah, that. anything that comes Voluntarily. up. Voluntarily. If there's a crossbow bucket, yeah. I'm cleaning it. <laughs> Nobody assigned it to him. <laughs> Including it dirt. Doesn't. Uh, yeah. And grime uh, and chuckles is your uh, FTL honk drive. He has the ability <laughs> to he has the ability to tear open uh, two spaces in space uh, and move you very quickly from one to the other, cutting a ten day trip into uh, an hour. An hour. Oh yeah, an hour. <laughs> duh. I mean, if only. <laughs> I mean, there's, and what's the worst that could happen? I mean, there's a bunch of horrible interdimensional <laughs> demons and the like that could perhaps find up. Um, that's always a risk. All right. But it's kind of like, you know, they always say when you go in for a colonoscopy, there's always a risk when you go under. <laughs> right? It'll be fine. What is the colonoscopy? <laughs> Oh, well, let me, let me. <laughs> I put on a glove over my glove. <laughs> this is where in the, in the cut scene it would all go silent and chuckle as you would see you dictating in great example uh, how, to, how, to, how to handle a colonoscopy. This, this reminds Labouche of something and I'll stomp over to Kavir. Kavir, uh, can you explain this word, this, uh... Gene, is it a carbon-based thing? It's like a um, part of a blueprint. So it's what makes up a, a, a characteristic or a person or a, a, a piece of them. So it's a, it's a it's a carbon-based thing. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah. May or may not apply to you. I don't know. I you see my eyes look down my neck hole at myself and then back to you. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, well, don't tell yourself short, Labouche. I think you look great in a pair of jeans. I agree. Yeah, maybe turn them into little some jorts uh, during summer. <clears throat> Those skinny jeans that Pike wears. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. <laughs> what about him, dude? <laughs> okay. I think they would look good on Labouche's boosh. Yeah, yeah, I got an extra pair I can lend him. He's a bit uh, wider than I am, though, with all that muscle. It's just the suit. I could probably fit in without the suit. <laughs> oh, what if we make Labouche a full denim suit? Oh, that would be so charming. You ever try to move in wet denim? <laughs> No, I can't wear denim. <laughs> I just look at Chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Pretty good. Pretty good. 
<sighs> I mean, if up, if up to the gang, I'm happy to provide <laughs> services rendered. I say let's go. Let's trust the chuckles. Seconded. Yeah. What are we waiting for? On board. Let's get this over with. All right, Rat, come on. All right, do your thing. I'm going to light another cigarette and say, uh, I'm going to get a drink while we see how this goes. Before you open it, and then I'm going to start like doing my star map thing. Like Basically, uh, think of like a, not holographic, hologram like pops up, and it has the constellation maps. And Thank I want to get there fast, so it's just like wormhole to wormhole or honk. Okay, <laughs> yeah, show me what's the fat the fruit here. Where am, I, where am I coming out here? Okay. Yep, you see it? Uh, I'll use my uh, motley and eyes to transpose the uh, the honk stream. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, uh, Do you want to press the go button together this uh, time? Well, hmm. There we pass a very dangerous jester hive. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Uh, a what? Oh. Uh, Oh no, and then that's the the giga uh, uh, space pie. No, 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 no. Okay, mm. okay, we gotta. I think I he think... said just a Ive. <laughs> we are not taking pit stops this time. Uh, Both of you roll okay. a uh, <laughs> what's a navigation check? Yeah, that's Man. a good check. Yeah. Roll a navigation check. Yeah, add your proficiencies. You can call for but, any kind of but, check you want. You're the guy. I'll make them up. Yeah. Just both you roll. I'll, I'll check checks are made up. Yeah, what is that? Wisdom? Uh, wisdom plus proficiency because you're... Yeah, wis- wisdom or oh. int. Whatever Whatever you... Whatever and you're pro- you yeah, you're probably proficient in navigator tools. Yeah. Uh, oh. 16. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so with a 16, Dandy, you're able to produce this hologram of the stars, you know exactly where you're going, you know where you're at. You are able to draw a line that looks uh, like almost remarkably like a, a constellation that takes you from where you are, skirts the appropriate suns, any dark stars, any black holes on the way, uh, and you draw a perfect route uh, to get to your destination. Cool. <clears throat> okay, Dandy, thanks, that really helped. Okay, I know which exit we'll take. Is the, gives us the best chance of survival. What's your roll? I rolled the. Uh, 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 I rolled the eight. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> what is what is that on the die? Did you? Oh wait, hold eight? on. I rolled a seven. Wait, do I add uh, my? Because I'm not I'm not navigating. Or yeah, I mean probably just an eight. If it's proficiency as well. Yeah, you add your that'll be an eleven. <laughs> Wait, let me let me roll my uh, cosmic omen. Oh, oh! So that oh. I can start doing stuff yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. <gasps> that sounds badass. Okay. Ass. I don't know what, what that is. That? Yeah, that sounds fucking sick. So essentially, um, I, do you want me to explain it? Because I'll do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically, every time after a long rest, I roll a d20, and evens and odds have different outcomes. So Whoa, I, I just rolled a one, uh, but that's okay, sick. because it's, it just it's means odd. it's odd. Yeah. And odd is whenever a creature you can see within 30 feet of you is about to make an attack roll, a saving throw, or an ability check, i.e. what you just did, you can use your reaction to roll a d6. Oh, no way. And subtract oh. the number roll. Oh. <laughs> oh, the map is so Wait. bright, my eyes. <laughs> Uh, Before, yeah. you, what, what does Even it look like ad. when you do this? Oh, when I do this, yeah, what's it look um, like? so basically the, the cosmos in, inside of my body, um, so I have like a lot of <clears throat> druid-like things, like, you know, plenty hair and a lot of gems all around me, but I also, the gems glow and can glow in different colors and kind of emanate from my being, this light that emanates from these gems throughout my body. And it does that when I do a cosmic omen. So essentially, it kind of glows a nice color. And when I get the odd, which is what I just got, it kind of is like a brown glow. Uh. And uh, oh, I'm not going to do it to you, though. Oh, it's the I brown. can choose, so. <laughs> Anyways. The brown omen coming. <laughs> Uh, I thought you cleaned out the book. So, so with an 11, <laughs> your math you, is beautiful, Bandy. I I'm, got it. I'm sorry, I tried to help. <laughs> I've got it. With an 11, uh, you have a very approximate knowledge of <laughs> your way through the honk weave uh, to get you there, but you are extremely uh, convinced that you can do it without fail. Oh, let's do it. I've got it, Captain. All right. Hank. I need you on the bridge for emotional support. 
and I will walk to the bridge and I will get in my captain's chair and then Hank will get in his little chair right next to me. Um, and I'll start flipping switches and turning knobs and stuff. Um, and uh, disengage autopilot and you'll hear sort of a and I will take the manual controls uh, ready for uh, the next step. I'll, I'll walk over just in the common area, like flop down onto one of the chairs, light up a new cigarette and just lean back and say, uh, well, here goes nothing. And I'm just staring out the window, like making sure we're getting from wormhole to wormhole, weave to weave. Uh, just remember, uh, folks, uh, if you hear any seductive whispers, it's probably a hideous clown, uh, not a sexy space siren. Uh, it's worse than that. It's definitely really worse than that. Uh, listen. Don't listen. Do not listen to his whispers. Uh, I don't suggest looking out the portholes. Uh, steal your mind against the horrors of existence. Can't forget that. Uh, here we go! Uh... And how do I do this, Dungeon Master? Well, I'll say, I'll rewind it, just admit. Red, as you enter into your uh, cockpit of sorts, you see expanded out in front of you uh, the opening to all of space. Everything expands for infinity out beyond you. Uh, as many times as you've seen this, uh, it always never ceases to take your breath away. You sit down in your seat, your arms at either side of the chair with your controls immediately at your hands. Your your back almost like secures and snaps in without even a belt. Uh, you begin to just kind of power the ship on your own. Uh, Chuckles and Dandy would find their places at controls on either side of you within this room, uh, and then everyone else would be where they are. Um, I'll be sitting in, on the like couch, and I'll just like be slumped over. And as I know that, like just seconds before we actually like launch, I'll just. <laughs> uh, Rhett, you punch it. You put the 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 rhapsody into drive mode. It starts to take off. As you all start to feel the familiar pull, you you peel back into your seats as your bodies begin to form to the new speed. Uh, chuckles. You remove your hat. Uh, and you reach within it, pull, dig down. What is this, seltzer? No. What is this? Something else? No. Other bullshit? No. <laughs> I really need to do some spring cleaning. <laughs> uh, until you whip out a small black circle. <clears throat> ah, there it is. And you throw it uh, through the uh, through the window of the rhapsody out front. And immediately it tears open this red circle in space as a swirling vortex opens and the Rhapsody flies into it. Oh, a new song? Uh, I got one. Uh, I thought, okay, I gotta focus on this. Uh, and you'll see that the little antenna uh, that's on my um, hat, uh, which is normally uh, dormant or just has like a, a simple red glow, will start like beeping now and start like almost like Morse code as if I'm like focusing on the navigation of the, oh, uh, the honk stream, and I'll focus, and I'll say, and then uh, clown horns will uh, uh, start going. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the clown car, come on, let's drive! <laughs> <laughs> and, and I sing a clown theme version of <laughs> New Vegas, Mama Number Five. <laughs> This one again, um, a little bit of honky guy in my life, a little bit of honky guy. <laughs> I, 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 I like keep trying to twist my helmet to like, dampen the sound, but it's not. And I get very clearly for the full ten minutes I sing this, and I get more increasingly more it's, like strange. It's not gonna stuff. help, Labouche. <laughs> let me tell you. I just uh, sink a little farther. Yeah. I, turtle, I turtle in. <laughs> Uh, so the Rhapsody has entered into the honk stream. You're used to, as you may encounter uh, movement such as this, you're used to uh, stars zipping past you, almost like a technicolor highway as you're encircled in a, in a cylinder that takes you from uh, point A to point B. This is extraordinarily different. You never get used to it any time that you use this. Uh, instead of multicolors, it is just 
uh, red. Uh, if you look out the portholes, you see uh, like a orangish, almost uh, amber smoke uh, and dust out every window as you move through. And this does not take the easy sway of a traditional FTL drive. This route is jagged. It is uh, bumpy. The Rhapsody quickly having to make adjustments on the fly to adjust to the honk weave. Uh, and I need everyone... The trumpet! <laughs> the trumpet! He's just going crazy. I'm going just like bananas. doing this dance that Chuckles taught me. <laughs> What are we doing? This is how you dance to Mambo number yeah. five. Um, the there's like ominous I need everyone balloons to, on all the sides. <laughs> I need everyone to th- uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh thank god. It keeps cocking. Yonkers. Oh, baby! I got a 23. Whatever. Oh. These dice roll as well as Labouche feels. <laughs> Low. I got a 9. <laughs> 19! That's my boy. Got an eight. Seventeen. <laughs> Out of four. We got, we got some of these. If you wanna if you wanna I'll You said it. wisdom saving? You said wisdom, wisdom saving. saving. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's do the hard no no no, that's jail. Mm-hmm. I wanna see what happens when you fail, so I'm not too much. Uh, yeah, Fifteen. Fifteen, okay. Uh so Kavir and Labouche, uh you hear a familiar call. Uh, the o- almost a <laughs> laughter very similar to Chuckles himself, uh, but in more dulcet, more feminine tones, like a siren's call. <laughs> oh God! From oh, out fuck. the portholes on either side, you would move immediately to a section of the ship. Uh, <laughs> you can see. Hey. Uh, you can see. Um, Labouche, where are you going? Whatever. Hey, come back. What are your favorite creatures? I find sea monkeys very charming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Labouche, you see it first. You look out uh, and you see the silhouette. Uh, rounded head, hair that spikes out. Uh, in a large, almost like triangle shape, uh, a slender waist that expands out into very uh, ballooned pants. You see this uh, figure take uh, what looks like a small object, put it to its mouth, and start to blow. As it blows and expands on a balloon, it ties off an edge, and with a swirl of its hands, it forms the perfect shape of a sea monkey, and it floats it out. And you are compelled uh, to do whatever you can to try and get out of the ship. <gasps> Kavir, what is your favorite animal? Uh, like a like a falcon. <clears throat> like a falcon. Oh yeah, it's really pretty bad, yes. <laughs> um, you see a very similar uh, figure on the. Uh, the entirely other opposite side of the Rhapsody, you see the silhouette of the, the same silhouette described before do a very similar thing. And it blows out a balloon, shapes it into the perfect form of a falcon, and pushes it out. And you're compelled to try and get to the falcon. Everyone else sees this. I think it, it would take Pike a minute to realize what's happening, and he would be sitting there just being <coughs> like, Guys... Come on, we've been through this. I don't think you understand. That is such a cool falcon. <laughs> no, you're right. I don't understand. It I, would I make a good it. souvenir. <laughs> yeah, they are way better than the animals. He, he only makes poodles. <laughs> I hate poodles. <laughs> this is a falcon. It's so cool. Uh, Rhett, we might have a situation here. Oh, gods again? Oh. Pike, can you handle it? I can't fucking take my hands I'm off still the controls. I'm very casually sitting on the couch watching this unfold, not sure what's going to happen. I don't know that they're trying to escape. I'm just Got observing it. and trying to keep everybody level-headed. Okay. Can we determine, can I determine that they're real or not? Do I know? Can she even see them? 
Everybody, well, everybody can see them. They seem to everyone can see this kind of silhouetted figure uh, in the in outside in the honk weave. Uh, you would not have seen the balloon animals that they're drawing. Everyone would see their own uh, their own uh, image, but you might see it stick its tongue out at you or and stuff like that, uh, calling at you to uh, to bait you, to jibate you, to space jibate you, even. Um, but you would know that there is something that lies beyond the honk weave, uh, attempting to enthrall your friends. To leave the ship, mm-hmm. I would need to, I imagine, break some sort of barrier, mm-hmm. and that could look like going to perhaps one of the sealed doors mm-hmm. that it leads to a tunnel where I could perhaps find one of the, the ship exits or, mm-hmm. or something like, like that. Like an airlock? Yep. Um, but in terms of like the windows that are in this room, is it like an airplane where if I just like chunk something, I can just push one of the doors out and... and it, Whips back, and I can just jump out into space. Is there a I would say in the hatch lounge, in this room right now, or am lounge, I going to have to stomp my way down the hallway? Uh, the ship is built on ether dwarf regulation rules, which means every uh, space have, has two egresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there is a uh, there is a safety hatch in the room you're in to eject the door off uh, to be able to release directly into space, or ideally to depart at a port uh, on the wall on the ceiling. Just to the side, if you're sitting on the recessed couch and you're looking up, dead ahead you would see at first Rhett's terminal in the lounge room. Beyond it extending out, you would see the captain's kind of uh, central console that actually pirates the, pilots the ship on the command deck. Off to just your left, uh, you would see the emergency release hatch. Is it mirrored on this side that I'm on as well? It would be on the left. It would be. It would only be on his side. Oh, okay. There's only one in the room. Got it. Um, you would see my my f- ship form. Uh, my ship form. My suit form, braced down like this, and then I will stretch Armstrong my my hands out. One hand will hold on to the handle of the door, and the other will hold on to the 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 latch. And my head turning around, looking at the rest of the crew. <laughs> I'll only be a minute. No. I, will, I will endeavor to LaBouche, pull. LaBouche, no! And I yeah, want the, like I want the door to pull me out. Dandy's uh, running like, Fred, no! I'm running just to join him, because I want to get out, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hop on, <Right>. come here! <laughs> we ride together! Uh, roll a roll a strength uh, a strength contest. I don't know how good I'm going to do with that. <laughs> good. Yeah, this roll like Labouche. Uh, I'll take an eight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you uh, you fire your goo arms out. You grab the handle of the door. You brace yourself against the wall, and you turn and you turn and you pull. Uh, but you're moving through the honk weave. You're moving at even faster than fa- uh, FTL. You're moving at Honk TL. Uh, and you try and rip this door as much as you can, as desperate as you are, but the sheer pressure on the outside of the ship uh, forces it shut as you try and uh, release the latch. What's everybody else doing as you're seeing? Uh, I would say that the moment that I see this happen, the see that I see that he has latched onto this door and is trying to open it, uh, I, uh, Pike would immediately jump up from the couch with one swift motion, unzip his outer jacket, twirl it off, and try to throw it over Labouche's head, and then run to where his hands are on the door, and try to kick the, his hands off the door. Roll an attack roll. This is pretty bad. Anyway, I'm just cheering on Labouche, I want to get out. <laughs> Ah, uh, not a good roll. Twist, twist I twist. am gonna twist it, because my, my plus, well, let me say, is a, is a 12 enough to hit? What's your AC? Oh, God. <laughs> no, not even close. No, not even close. Okay, I'll twist it, I'll twist it. Uh, do I get two? I get two attacks though, right? If this is just, oh, I have yeah. extra attack. Am I able to make? Well, well technically, yeah. actually, you'd be an unseen attacker if you threw your jacket. I was trying attack. to do it. Oh, so you'd be a yeah. for okay. flavor if I have yeah. a free object interaction. You, you okay. Have, you First one's advantage. Zip your <laughs> jacket, and with the rule of cool, you barely even touch it. <laughs> it just leaps off of you as you catch it it's, in your hand. You spin it around in a I flourish, think. and it just wraps around the bouche. It was so cool. He doesn't even want to take it it's off. The, <laughs> it's the Tai Chi nature of me moving like water to just kind of. Uh, it's a natural and like flow. a wet towel that wraps itself around his head. That's not gonna be good enough. So that my first one, I'm gonna have to twist because the uh, advantage wasn't good enough. Okay. That's probably good. Nineteen. Yep. 
Okay, so the first one will hit. Second attack, I'll roll at advantage. That's a natural one. <laughs> Thank goodness. It's at advantage. That's going to be higher. Okay. Uh, so so the hit. first two, my first two attacks will hit. I'm not really trying to harm him, but I'm trying Should to hit him with enough force that he'll like hit him with the open palm. He'll like, ah! slapping. Yeah, he'll yeah. like you know okay. release the door. Um, so you swirl your jacket around the bush. You race over to the door. You get there in two bounds. Your long strides, uh, easy movements. You get there uh, extremely quickly with open palms. You strike towards where you would assume something along the line of elbows are, <laughs> uh, and you try and Let like, go! like crack his arms in. And so he lets go. Uh, you may reroll your wisdom save. Oh. Ooh. That's we'll say add advantage. Uh, oh. Wake up, LaBouche! Ooh, that's a good one. There it is. Uh, all right, so we'll go with a 20. Dirty 20. 20. Uh, as Pike runs up and snaps into your arms, uh, he hits points you didn't even know that you had. It awakens <laughs> something within you, and you snap out of uh, this state. You're, oh, oh, I barely even like sea monkeys. Um, <laughs> and you are now no longer trying to get out of the ship. But Kavir still is, Kavir right? Is. Kavir still so is. So I'm trying to yeah. save my friend, Kavir, because I don't want him to get hurt. I love Kavir. And so I'm going to cast Entangle, and vines are gonna just come down my arm and go towards you to try and grapple you and stop you from getting out of the, the door. So you need a um, strength saving throw of 16. Strength saving throw. All right. Do I see this coming at me? You do. Um, I would from, like, say behind? I would say that you would not really notice anything that doesn't involve trying to get out of the ship. Okay. So you would have been very focused on Labouche's efforts to get out. You would have been very focused on what was happening maybe outside of the ship, cool but falcon. you would, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. a pretty cool falcon. Yeah. Uh, uh, the cool. really pretty BDS yeah. falcon. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, I was just wondering if I, if like, I would make an attempt to dodge if I had seen it, but uh, I rolled a 12, you said I needed 16? Okay, so you lose. 12. Ooh. So uh, I, I, I yes, hold 12. him, I restrain him. Okay. Not to be in pain, just to keep him from exiting. Yeah, so from your form, you would shoot out uh, these tendrils of green uh, energy. Uh, vines would erupt directly from your arm as they slither down, maybe even from your hair. And they extend out and wrap uh, Kavir up. And uh, does it do damage? or? Nope, I'm just restraining him. Oh, okay. You're restrained. Nice work, Dandy. Labouche, you with me? Come on! Uh, yes. Thank you, I uh, lost my mind. Yeah, no, no worries. worries. You were supposed to open the door. I need this balloon, I need this animal. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will, uh, my hands are starting to uh, retract and I will grab both of my hands and they'll become like a long, uh, like a rope almost, like that. You're not close to the door at this point. No, I was, beh I was effectively you, you behind effectively, you, like cheering you uh, on. Uh, effectively yeah. behind you, so yeah. I'm, effectu I'm effectively just gonna do like an unarmed like whip and like crack you against the side like of the table. Like basically wake you up flat, <laughs> yeah. like snap out of it. Love that. <laughs> it is the madness speaking. Uh, you may re-roll your wisdom. Well, actually, I'm sorry, roll an attack again. Yeah. So. That's gotta be. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, it's a natural 18, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And. Uh, I'm sure it restrained. You're probably at advantage. Sure. I mean, you might not 20 in this whole Nope. Uh, and right. uh, it's just it's just six straight damage, apparently, according I, to. Is it bludgeoning damage? Yes. I have uh, resistance against bludgeoning, which is. Oh. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, okay. uh, knowing that, I will. Great. Yeah, that's <laughs> why. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> The best bets. So you hit him with the wave. You snap, uh, and re you may reroll your wisdom save. All right. Oh, twist it. Oh, you got a twist. Yeah, got a twist. Yeah, oh, add advantage. Add advantage. Okay, so I'll roll a second one first. first. And then beautiful. Yeah, that's Wait. natural twenty. Yeah, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. Love to see it. Uh, as the the juice of uh, of Labouche kind of like <laughs> smears across your face a little bit, uh, um, you think about that form uh, and and you think to yourself, that wasn't a falcon, that was a poodle, uh, and you are no. you're snapped out of the uh, ensorcelment, oh. the enticement of the home. Kavir, are you with me? Yes, I am, my friend. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna. They're just gonna like just the vines that were around him are just gonna kind of disappear. 
wither away. Or they drop off and just kind of sprinkle away into cosmic dust. I am sorry for what I said about your pujas. They're wonderful pujas. Oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of honk now. Oh, by the way, look out, guys. We're entering siren space. Beware their balloon. <laughs> Uh, I forgive you, Kavir. Uh, a little bit of hog now. Uh, just keep your mind on the prize. It'll all be worth it when we get done this job. Are we almost there? Uh, uh, the it's trumpet! It's a trumpet! At this point, the trumpet of Honkma number five reaches its crescendo, and you see as you cross this final bend in the weave, you see an opening uh, ready to spit you out into space, and the Rhapsody exits from uh, the Honk Weave. Let me just exit from the Honk Weave. I okay. told you I'd get us to where we needed to go. <laughs> I just thought it was going to be from point A to point B. Oh, well, I think that went pretty well. You guys avoided the, the siren. To be fair, he's, he's not wrong. And yeah, I, it's, it's fine. Like I said, Red, it's all worth it. We gotta make him earn his keep. Yeah, I mean, uh, you're fucking lucky that you stopped him from pulling that fucking lever. So I'm gonna say that was that was awful close. Rhett, why do the seatbelts come off during fly, flight like that? <laughs> <laughs> they should lock. Well, you're not supposed to take them off. I wanted to see monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the day, the Rhapsody's still in one piece. We're all right. We're all right. Thank you, Dandy. The other option, sirens are pretty obviously alluring, given the fact that their baggy clown pants are entirely filled out. <laughs> But that is, you, we avoided the big titty goth clown space. And that what? would have been even worse. We gotta go back. We, gotta go, we have to go back. <laughs> Completely out of character. <laughs> <laughs> it's at this point that anyway. Hank uh, announces he's been scanning uh, the asteroid field, and he has found... Uh, an asteroid that sits differently from the others. Slightly bigger, a little more rounded, less craggy than anything else. Uh, and he is 98% sure that this is not a, that this asteroid hides a hidden lair. Yeah. Uh, it is, however, uh, very difficult to approach. It is uh, protected by other shattered space junk, other things float around it asteroids and you'll have to make an effort to clear any of that away before you think that you'd be able to uh, land on it. All right, Hank's saying that the asteroid's somewhere out in that field and uh, it looks like we don't have a clear shot to it, so we either gotta navigate it and try to zip around it, which I mean, with the size of this ship, probably not, or we try to clear some of it. Would I know how to clear asteroids on the ship? You would imagine you could use the Rhapsody's four blasters to clear a lot of it away. All right. We uh, got four guns. We need four, four gunners, presumably. Yeah, that's the right amount. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four gunners. Volunteers. Uh, you know I'm gun. already on my way. Yeah, I'm stomping. <laughs> I will gun. I All would right. say we, we lose our, our advantage of surprise. Good uh. point, Kavir. He'll, that's like saying, hey, we're coming to kill you, potentially, <laughs> for money. Hey! Well, I mean, do you have some other bright idea how we're going to get through this asteroid field? Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of with Red on this one. This is looking a little dicey. I'm not sure there's another way through. How big are the asteroids? Uh, that's a good question. They're like, um... Are they ship-sized? Do I think that if I were to, uh, uh don my dreadnought that I would be able to perhaps collide them or spin them out into space? They are very, like, medium ship size size, and the asteroid that, uh, the asteroid that Hank identified is larger than anything else by a significant margin. They're, it's a mixture of sizes, but they're very, like... They're very medium to small large. If we are looking to steal, I could uh, wipe these away with my other other suit. I mean, how long is it going to take you 
just to go out there and clear them one by one. I mean, I think just blast them out of the sky. What's he going to do, escape? That's exactly what he was doing. <laughs> yes. Uh-oh. Well, like, takes a long drag on his cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we just chase him. We just shoot him out of the sky. Is there I, anything... So, we have, do we have a hangar? Are there any smaller ships? Like you a, definitely have a hangar on the Rhapsody. You would know that for sure. It's, it's the exact opposite end. You're all towards the front head of the ship. If you were to run to the other end, you know that you would end in the hangar bay where all of your personal ships are. Why don't we take uh, our own ships? Ooh, we haven't had a nice scramble uh, since this morning. We had the scrambled eggs. <laughs> that was not what I would call a nice scramble. <laughs> or eggs. Oh, well, uh, you know, Kavir is a point. You're right. And then at least if the doctor tries to get away, well, we'd be able to give chase. We'd already be out there. All right. Fine. That's how y'all want to do it. Just I want y'all to understand fuel's awfully expensive in this economy, so uh, I think firing a couple lasers might be a little cheaper, but if we think that it'll be a little stealthier to sh- still shoot them anyway. <laughs> you know, 95% of nothing is fucking nothing, right? Brad? It's a little bit less about stealth and more about us being out there ready to take on whatever comes out. Now, I don't necessarily mean we shoot the asteroids. We, With smaller ships, we can navigate through it. Well, All right. What do you think, Captain? But it's up to you. I think Kavir is right. Right? Can you keep an eye on the Rhapsody for me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop Hankor. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, That's buddy. We won't be long. <clears throat> I'll give him a scratch. Uh, all right, let's get this over with. Can we take, can we take a short break? It's, it's as you say that. Uh, <laughs> Hank interprets. Hank in, enjoys the scratch behind his ears. He always does. It's very familiar. Uh, he leaps into the uh, seat, and as he hears uh, you say it's time to get this over with, he interprets that as you meaning, uh, as you've said, that it's time to just fire the blast. <laughs> oh, oh no. So Hank uh, <laughs> Yes, Captain. Uh, and the four uh, guns just unleash <laughs> as the uh, bombardment oh, no. fires out. Oh, boom, hey. boom, 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 boom. Uh, and roll a ship attack roll, right? Oh. oh, we should have been more specific. <laughs> so, <Ooh>. attack, <laughs> you say? <coughs> how many of those? So this is from your ship sheet? By two, two minutes? No, no, I said, how many attacks? No, this is pre- to your previous question, two minutes. Oh, take your time. Yeah. It's okay, it's Oh, time. is this, um... This is typer. Is this in the Google Doc, or is this just, like, a normal... Oh, no, I just roll it, just roll it. Okay, it's, yeah. uh, what it is... Oh, pl- uh, plus eight, plus eight. I'm not gonna say that. Yeah, I missed it. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh. Uh, so the so Hank is firing pal- out this massive bombardment, uh, pooling at the end of the Rhapsody's <laughs> cannons, these giant, quaking, blue, purple orbs of energy fire Damn. out. They move slow, they enter the asteroid field, and each one, as they reach an intended target, expands and explodes, evaporating the asteroids around it. Uh, you have easily cleared uh, a pathway to the asteroid ahead of you. Well, <coughs> oh, no, no, that's not quite what I like, meant, oh. buddy. Yeah, there's, there's a moment of like silence as we watch <laughs> to see if anything happens. Or if space is just quiet and now there's a path. We're all like, huh? Space is always quiet. <laughs> Roll a perception check. Oh. I would be honored. This happens because you never tell him he's a bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good dog. That's a great reference. 17. 17. With a 17, you take a moment. Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, we're wincing and then another like uh, uh, rock collides and another one. <laughs> it's being loud. And we like, think it's over. <laughs> That happens exactly. That's better than what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you wait 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Feels like an eternity. 
There's no movement from the asteroid ahead of you. You get the sense that it's all good. Well, good job, buddy. You saved us yeah. on fuel, and you saved us a hell of a lot of time. Well done. You know, I, I was with you, but, you know, I, I think Rhett might be right. He usually is. And right. now we'll have the Rhapsody right nearby in case we need it. Uh, you see anything on your scanners in terms of a place to land? He's right there. <laughs> I'll just ask him. <laughs> <laughs> you still uh, he uh, he says if you take uh, out the hammerhead, your uh, docking, your landing vehicle. He feels like he's located a space that uh, the crew could land and uh, explore the asteroid. One ship, enough for one ship to land. Yes. Okay. One you have the you have a separate ship that houses like the bus. We had like one. Yeah. You have oh, like a ship that's kind of like a minivan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah. piles it's into. The dad rock van. You can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I love it. It's <laughs> like the yeah. It's, yeah. The, it's, it's like the, the turtle. Red, Red's always driving the turtle. There's like a dragon on the side of it. Like an eighties metal cover. Yeah. It's the session heading. This is how you travel through time. All right. Let's get in the shuttle. <sighs> Shotgun! <laughs> Shot uh, you would all know that I need to get in first because I like basically have to cannonball in my suit in the back. Like. <laughs> so we, yeah, I will, uh, before I go to the hangar, I would go to uh, my quarters and I would pick up my uh, ethereal engine, and I will, you'll see sort of in, I'm sort of wearing this harness that has these weirdly deep ports that look like they're going deeper than like Ooh. clothes would. Um, and there's this large kind of uh, pack with all of these various arms, um, and there's these sort of tubes and canisters, uh, and next to it is sitting this very large sort of handheld uh, heavy weapon. And I will take the cannon, the uh, the engine. I'll put it on, and it'll sort of ktsss, ktsss, into the ports um, through my uh, kind of um, jumpsuit, I guess, and uh, grab the gun, and I'll throw it over my shoulder. And uh, all right, I'm ready. Snaps onto your back, so you can carry it effortlessly. Uh, and it's as you announce your plans to dock on the asteroid while you're on the deck. Uh, that you get an incoming uh, video call that uh, just appears on your screen. Immediately you see the form of what can only be described as a, triter a triceratops headed figure uh, with a black eye patch, a single black eye patch uh, with a Jolly Roger on it. You're running towards the hangar bay. Uh, Pike, Kavir, uh, Chuckles probably at the back, I'd imagine. Dandy kind of just <laughs> like like sideways. firing down uh, <laughs> and Rhett all geared up with the Aether engine strapped on. You you run straight down as you burst into the hangar bay. It's an enormous open room, two-tiered uh, catwalks above you for mechanical uh, purposes for uh, fixing any ship that you could possibly want to. Uh, you see laid out in front of you, three on each side, all of your personal ships. The Echo, the Sparrow, the Ragnarok, Dandy's Platform, uh, the Clown Car, <laughs> and then and then the Dreadnought. Um, as you run up, uh, as we will enter into spaceflight dogship combat, dog, space, space dogfight combat, <laughs> Uh, what's gonna happen <laughs> is, is I don't know what space, space, space dog space dog shit rocket combat. Rocket 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 dog shit combat. Here we go. Uh, so uh, uh, initiative is going to be decided by uh, you all. We will go point by point. You will decide who goes first, uh, and as you pick, you'll enter your ship. You'll move to the section of the hangar, uh, and you will pull out into space. And then, as you pick one, I will pick one. Oh, it's like a war game. What do we think? I think Pike is is, is first out of the hangar. Yeah. 100%. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, with with a couple, as I near the sparrow, with a couple bounds up the ladder, 
uh, I plant one hand and swing my legs up into the cockpit using my other hand to pull the hatch down. I don my riding gloves, pop, pop some buttons, turn the ignition, and thrust her off as uh, the midnight's uh, days of thunder blasts on my on my spare radio. And with the thrusters, I, I kick off, gain some sp space, and uh, uh, gain some uh, thrust, and I'm out. I'm out the window. You put out your the hanger. foot to the pedal, and it's like shaking the hands of an old friend. It falls comfortably <sighs> into space. You kick in, you pull back on the clutch, you push forward on the thruster, your ship kicks off, floats for just a moment before it's straight out the hangar. You burst out of the Rhapsody, leaving it behind. Uh, open space calls out to you, uh, and you can see the Saurian ship directly ahead of you as you take uh, as you take your space on the on where the board. We, oh, fuck. Yeah, where should we come yeah, in? Yeah, come yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. And where's yes, the best way from the camera? What's the, should we? Do you wanna yeah, just grab that sucker? Pardon my reach. Oh, yeah. Need any more sucker. Why don't we put it down here so I can just control okay, it? That's it's fine. easier. I'll and be mindful of it. Nocturne. It should be good to run it behind the other. Uh, yeah, oh, wait a minute. Careful. Here. Here. Yeah. Should we be playing this music? Oh. That was maybe not. I'm gonna do my <laughs> best to run this. <laughs> which uh, which section should I? The planet side. Sorry. Yeah, just turn it down a little bit. I imagine yeah. that's where we're going. Right? I don't know. Or that's that a great question. question. I don't know if this is just for this flavor. This is just. Or, I uh, found it on the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do that side where so we can actually use some of the nebula, obviously. Ooh. Naturally. <laughs> We've been there before. Okay. Uh, so where can I deploy? You you all can be well. Actually, you guys be towards the other side of the map. Okay. You deploy from that side. All right. I'm gonna deploy, and I'll deploy from this side. Then you should be. How far can we just be? Like, can he be here? Yeah, sure. We have deployment, folks. We're playing some fucking Warhammer. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> the sparrow. The sparrow like is ordinance. in flight. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Suppressing fire. Nice. Squad. And if you would. On the other side, you know it was a good game. Oh. As they leave the other oh. ship, you will see oh, as amazing. it starts to pour out of the Saurian ah. ship. Uh, your right. enemy Spirit. fighters, uh, <laughs> who will go second? I'm gonna try to move them. Well, I want them to be visible. Uh, I, 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 I can, I can yeah. do this. I can yeah. do this. Okay. Who's going second? Let me do like out here then. Is this reasonable, yeah. Mason? Uh, I'm gonna do just so he's totally I wanted to you be can on, go, you on can camera. Go. Let's two say squares Kavir out. Or, yeah. Or Kavir, Kavir, yeah, probably. I'd say we'd probably go out at the same time. I, I was, I knocked my head against the Volkswagen door, so you make it just before me. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so as I run towards the oh. the Echo, uh, <laughs> it's the Echo's on the the higher platform, so I'll kind of wave my hands and throw the sands out in front of me as basically like steps as I run up and then oh. launch into the top of the Echo. Oh damn! Landing into the cockpit Shit. and then just punching it forward. You do so, the sands form quickly. You have to make simply three bounds before you can flip directly into the cockpit. It closes around you in a similar way. Uh, it kicks off from the ground, hovers for just a moment until you punch out of the hangar bay and join Pike Clean in uh, just somewhere uh, visible. space. Yeah, that probably makes sense. Like, right just, here? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, that, that's yeah like fine. on his. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's back. Good. Where we go? I think we're doing the uh, flying V. Big That's right. Fans. Uh, oh, yeah. Stay with me, Goose. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Oh, one more. As one more That's Saurian cool. jumps out. Uh, Do you want them more close together? Or who is third? Out? No, you can put them. You can put them you a little like further. Apart. Put them on the left. I think you're probably Good. getting ready to go. I'm like, oh. oh. I um, run I up to uh, sure. what you can clearly see is a uh, massive uh, dreadnought, a uh, giant mitts, a uh, huge. Um, it almost looks like, uh... A different term. What's the name of the fucking guy who ramps through walls in X-Men? Juggernaut. Jug he's the Juggernaut. Yeah, he's the Juggernaut. It's a Juggernaut. It's not a Juggernaut. Not a Juggernaut. It's a Juggernaut. The Dreadnought is the name of the ship. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, what's going on here. Yeah, um, I, think it's I, I, um, I would take like three giant st uh, steps before hitting a few buttons on the front of my chest and the pressure of my suit releases. I would fold all of my boots and gloves and everything that uh, uh, folds with me as I pull into my helmet and roll forward like a Metroid ball into the chest, cannonballing directly into the center of this uh, uh, giant dreadnought uh, uh, robot. And uh, as it closes, I become the nervous system as I ooze out. This would have been a machine kind of like the workloader 
Shredder from uh, Aliens, oh, where sick. it would have been uh, hydraulically operated, and now I am the thing. And I uh, uh, take now another much larger step as I just jump out into uh, space. You gotta you got have one of those uh, those Gundam slingshots. Yeah, where you're with it. You're, oh, you're, yeah. you're yeah, slingshot yeah. into the, the board, <laughs> and then it yeah. fires off as jets behind you careen you out into space. Uh, what noise do you make when you fly? <laughs> Just curious. <laughs> like the jets. That's my thing. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the macro. Oh, oh, you see that? Guacamole. Holy Release holy. from the Saurian holy hangar bay shit. as Bracken's it's personal large. ship <laughs> exits the hangar and takes place. We should do that uh, on yeah, the yeah, field yeah, of battle. Yeah, yeah, that would definitely be central, and the others will spawn all around it. There should be. Who a will go? Oh, sorry. Let's put it like here so it's flat. But that's not strategically advantageous. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna fun. blast that. Move <laughs> yeah, out of the sky. it's fine. Uh, who will go next? Uh, I guess you're going last, right? Go so last. you can go next. Okay, I'll uh, I will run up, and I will just simply walk up to. I don't know how else to say it. It's a flying saucer. <laughs> <laughs> with the appropriate uh, clown-themed uh, colors, I will literally uh, just stick my sticky shoes up and walk up the side. <laughs> As the hatch opens, I'll uh, the the dome will come down, and the dome, the top of the dome, uh, it has a similar antenna to my hat. Uh, and then both of our, both of the antenna of myself and the ship start. <laughs> You're boop, insane. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and then uh, I'll just. All of these like goofy, literal, cartoonish red buttons and levers and gears, <laughs> and I'm just pressing this, and I'm like, I don't really know what it is. It's done. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. As uh, then it'll m the, some lights will turn on and go, <laughs> and I just Scooty Puff Junior my way uh, out. I'm definitely in the back. <laughs> and you do so. You hop in and That's you in you spin That's these levers, the crank yeah. these dials push these buttons and you don't know what they do because they in fact don't do anything. It's not until you hit the giant red clown nose button that, that the that the, uh, the your engine whirs to life. You up and then you zoom uh, calmly out of the hangar bay. Uh, and here if you could place that one on the map. And then who will go if you want to just tell me I think Danny wants to go last, so I'll go next. Okay. Um, I would be running down with, you know, clanking with these massive, you know, this massive sort of uh, backpack, basically, with all this machinery clanking around. And Hank would be running after me. Uh, and even though he has very tiny legs, he somehow, like, keeps up. He, like, maybe his legs move like Mr. Krabs. Where he's like <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's barely keeping up with me. Uh, and then I will hit a few buttons on my uh, on my arm as I get to the hangar, and you see this very large, broad, boxy vehicle, almost like those giant sort of cube or square uh, ships from Dune, with like a oh, massive yeah. cannon on the front. Um, you see sort of tanks of glowing uh, purple ether uh, on either side, and I'll hit a button, and instead of it being a cockpit, there'll actually be a, a door that sort of um, pneumatically shoots down, and Hank and I will run up the door, and it'll close behind me as I run up, and we both get into our respective seats as I uh, press the thrusters forward, and I will shoot out right behind everybody here. And you do so, you hop into your vehicle, and it's hard to tell whether it plugs into, you plug into it or it plugs into you. Exactly As right. the engine, uh, mm -hmm. the that ether engine thing. whirs to life, it spins, you can feel its core draw on your person, uh, and the energy powers into your ship as it comes to life, and you exit the hangar. Uh, and then you can place... Landmaster! <laughs> <laughs> you just place both of those out. Exactly. In whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's my final smash, man! <laughs> I would put Land it back. Put it back Land it. Yeah. Master, get <laughs> out of here! Pretty OP to it. Poisonally, I don't prefer, prefer to hear. <laughs> uh, and then... Dandy. Dandy, you run into the hangar bay. You find, uh... A uh, 
pad that has been built into the ground by Rhett. It has that familiar ether tubing uh, piping coming away from it as there's a spot where clearly you stand onto it. As you do, uh, the energy seems to pull from the air around you. It courses through the pad and up into you as you throw your arms back and you go uh, pure white as the theme to Sailor Moon plays <laughs> and you spin around and your form changes into a massive uh, pterodactyl as you uh, take flight and you careen out of the yeah. hangar bay uh, and oh, infused like with the cosmic power of ether. Scream! Uh, and <laughs> the, the pad, basically it's a big sort of stone pad with like these like arcane, like magical uh, energy running through it. There's a big picture of Dandy's face smiling and then when she stands on <laughs> the top right hand corner of the screen, it's, there's a little feather icon at times 50. Uh, <laughs> it's just a flight pad from Andrew Kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Uh, you have all been messaged your ship sheets with a brief breakdown oh, of the rules yeah. of Get on space combat. Have I? Space ship dog fight combat, uh, if you would refer to it. And Pike. Uh, I would like to make one proposal. Please. Uh, because these hexes are four times the size of other hexes, Five feet per movement is going to put me no. somewhere over there. It should, so it should be ten. Feet ten per. per I would say let's change it to ten per, per hex. Ten That's hex. totally fine. That's just because totally otherwise I'm I'm, I'm going to start driving scale. over Aria. Every at yeah, day. at yeah. this scale. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um. Okay. So it doesn't really say how far I can shoot, but I can move sixty feet, which will be six hexes. I realized uh, pretty quickly that I didn't include ranges on. That's okay. Anything. That's all right. So uh, in space, nothing is. I'm right. gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna start to fly forward, mm -hmm. and I'll move twenty feet with where I feel like I might be in range of this ship. Yeah, absolutely. And I will take my blasters action, which I can use twice only if I choose this as my action. Does that mean in addition to moving? Right. Correct. Yeah. All right. So then I will make two attacks, two blaster attacks. Uh, I have plus eight to hit. Uh, this guy doesn't have a number, but he's right here, so I don't know what. Uh, what let me just any, uh, you can go clockwise, just write like a one, two, three, four, five on I him. Got you. I got you. If you wouldn't mind. Yeah. So then I'll attack number one, just somewhere it's visible. One, one two, three. three. All right. So I'll roll twice. Roll G twenty twice. Yep. First one's a sixteen to hit. That hits. Second one is a 26 to hit. Uh, that hits. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I will roll 4d6 plus 12. 6, 10, 14, 19, plus 12 is 32 <laughs> points of damage. Uh, 31 points of damage, thank you. I was off at 1. Uh, and then I need to use the rest of my four movements, so I'm going to move turn. Move, move, turn, and that would have been 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Move, fly over here, 60. And now I'm uh, showing my bare bottom to uh, the enemies, <laughs> as that is my whole turn. <laughs> but I have done 31 points of damage to ship number one. <clears throat> Got it. That was a pretty so good start. So I fly in. Start. <laughs> Yeah. And, and light this guy up with my blasters as I as I kind of straight past. You I kick the it. pedal down. It. You put just explosion from the back of your engines as you race forward, peppering this enemy as you just blast at the front of their ship. Uh, you start to as you're coming to almost careen with them. You pull off to the side and easily shake out of the way. However, exposing your back, making it easy for them to follow up behind you. Uh, and we'll go with monster ones who will do just that. I'd like to see him try. Well, you're gonna stay <laughs> tuned. Um, I can't shake him! Uh, and if you could help me out, he's gonna move forward, he's gonna try and get as close to the... Well, he's pointed the wrong direction. Yeah, well, he's gonna so turn. He's gonna turn. turn. Yeah. Yeah. So you can, you can turn within your current cell. Uh, you have to move, move forward. forward, forward, forward. Before you have to move turn. forward before you can turn. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say, and then turn. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. and then where would you like to go? Straight yeah, ahead? Just forward, yeah. And then which turn again? Yeah, you know where I'm going. I'm going right at Pike. Yeah, good luck. Um, that's got you in my <laughs> side. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, is, do we have a bonus down. act or reaction to barrel roll by any chance? Uh, <laughs> everyone has special. If you have it, it's on your sheet. Come on, Pac, do a uh, barrel if you roll. you can do it, it's on your sheet. I'm trying. Um, 
Uh, and he'll just Hi. get right, he'll just get right up on you if he can see. go forward one more. <laughs> Is that his full um, movement? But one, two, so that's 20. Yeah, right. that was only two. Yeah, yeah, yeah he'll, he'll, two get, he'll get right up on you. Oh, just get up in there. Shit, yeah, you ain't like shaking this. this. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah and going. he will fire the same. Two attacks at you okay. for a uh, 20 and a 25. <laughs> that was both hit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But at least he's not on your ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <right now. laughs> oh, I mean, oh no, thank goodness. <laughs> but that would be terrible. <laughs> what an awful thing. I don't want a, a big scary dinosaur man to be in my eye. <laughs> oh no. Uh, uh, and and you'll that. take 14 points oh, of damage as he comes in with the blasters and does the same this uh, is to time? you. <laughs> okay, come here. It's you. <laughs> All right. Um, I can move if you want to dictate there. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the best, what I would do here. So as we start, you have to move this way. Right. You have to move there. Uh, what is it? I have uh, 50, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And then I, can I, I can turn C- Consider get it right. your standard firing range at like 40 feet. Oh, uh, okay. That still doesn't help me based on the angle so here. One, two, three. Four, yeah, running. that's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, let's hit uh, one, two hexes forward. Two, three. And then turn. And then, so I could fire from there, right? Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and attack. And what was this? The back. So, the the, butt. so your butt, if your butt's exposed. Why do you close your is, butt? is every attack two? No, so you have like a standard attack. Right. If you choose that, mm-hmm. you can do it twice. If you choose another action, you can't uh, you can't do your standard right, attack. Right, right, okay, but my standard attack, attack is twice. Mm-hmm. Okay, got it. We are I'm gonna roll six. two here. Yes, we're six level. So we're level six. 15 plus seven, to 22 <laughs> and a 21. <coughs> both both, both of those hit. Both hit. Good hits, good hits. Uh, and then, so now I just roll for the damage, right? Uh, what am I rolling for the damage, sorry? The, the, the D20s again? Uh, no, it should say, be all in there. So this is, uh, no, Those my, are, my regular those are attack passives. isn't here. I have passives and then my... Empiric guns, blasters. You can use this twice only if you choose this as oh. action. 2D plus 7. Yeah, yeah, you're good. I didn't reach far no, enough. No, it's all down. Good. That's what we're all here for. <laughs> These are... It's so new. Now i got to remember what the 8s are. This is the diamonds, right? The 8s are the diamonds, yeah. Alright, so we'll roll. 1, seven, nice. Eight eight damage. 8 plus 7 yeah, is a 15. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, 3 plus 7 is a 10. Or, to the the plus damage is to the total, Yeah, you just plus the 1s. Okay, so 11, so 18 damage. Mm-hmm. And because I hit them, uh, they get the Sands of Time. Oh. So at the start of the target's game. turn, it is really they take... Okay, so I guess I'll apply this when your monster goes. Right? They take damage at the start of the, their turn? At their turn, yeah. Oh. They take 2d6 two, okay. two damage at the start of their turn. That's number 5. Uh, yes, for cool. number 5. So number mm-hmm. 5 took, what was that, 18 points of damage? should do more than just that, I think, if I remember correctly. It will if it falls below ten health. I was gonna save that for. Mm. Oh, okay. You you let me know okay. if it falls before ten health. Okay. Did both your attacks hit? Both of them hit. Yeah. Then you need to roll another two d eight plus seven because you only rolled one d eight two yeah. two d eight plus seven, right? Or yeah. is it only you chose one d eight two d eight plus seven? Oh, oh. It says you each, can use each this gun twice. does two d eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, you, so if you two, roll two attacks, they both hit. It's forty eight plus four. Eleven. So eleven and eighteen. So twenty nine damage total. Very cool. Thank you. Plus applying the passive. There we go. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, I'll just write that down. (laughs) (laughs) And just let me know if they fall below 10 health. (laughs) Got it. And then where do you want to move for your last two uh, passives? Um, I'm actually going to stay there. Uh, You you got to use your full movement. Oh, I have to use my full movement. Thank you. Uh, That's why I had to reveal my bum hole. (laughs) One, two, three. Uh, I was wondering why you. Gotta keep moving. Oh, yeah. And I wanted to okay. peel away. You I don't have, want to drive you into their to, territory, you know? Do you have to move where you're heading? Or you, you can, can turn. You, you can, can move, turn, but you can, can turn. But I have to but move yeah. a cell to turn, yeah, you, right? Two turns so I can't, I can't turn now. No, you actually went here and then turn and move, so you can turn here before you move. Yeah, because when you entered the square, you could have turned, I guess, technically. So I didn't but, use the turn. Well, I mean, to attack, that's, that's though, saying. I feel like you have to move one, then turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. You've got to stay pointed to fire. Yeah. That's, that's then you can move forward and turn. So you move one and then turn. So I would do the same thing. I would go forward one and then make a hard right. At least you didn't show me your act. Is that what I want? That's 66. Got it. Okay. 
Got it. Okay. Yeah. That's reasonable. So Look, you're, you're okay. He's got to do a lot to get They have to use their full movement. You're like, yes. So right. You're yeah. actually a safer position. Right. Yes. That's what yeah. I thought. I okay. didn't, well, like, like I said, I didn't want to go off into the black hole over here and die. You know, like, if there's nothing <laughs> here, I would have no clicks, you know? <laughs> Really bad if you went over. We need a, we need a, we need a floating hex so uh, we can just move it. And yeah. You just hit the edge of the universe. Dino yes. ship number two. So my my <laughs> ship number two will fly towards uh, whoever's the front at the Here? at the party back. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna go one, <clears throat> two. How much movement do they have? Fifty. Three, four, turn five. five. Okay. Uh, and we'll attack Turning twice. Is not um, it's not a move. It doesn't yeah. take You can attack. just do okay. one Got it. side each. Got it. Ooh, one is a 20, one is a natural one. To attack me? Uh huh. <sighs> Does it hit? <laughs> yeah, it okay, yeah. obviously that hits, but. Um, Only one hits. One hits. One, one hits. One I'm hits. going to react. I'm going to spend 10 feet of movement to enter into evasive maneuvers. So nice. I increase That's my sick. AC by four until the start of my next. What does that bring your AC to? Uh, 22. Nice. Okay, it all missed. Do a barrel roll! <laughs> Do a barrel roll! As the Saurian ship uh, approaches you and it starts firing off your blasters, your primal instincts kick in as you easily sway from side to side in between the blasts as the lasers fire at you. Um, you you dodge them effortlessly. Uh, Labouche. Bendy, what's your aft? <laughs> I'll turn, go one, turn, go two. That's my maximum movement. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it really? Uh, when we cut everything in half, you have 20. No, 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 no. I have 40 feet of movement. That's fine. These are just four sides. That's four sides. Three seconds. Yeah. Yeah. We just, wow. just doubled the. No yeah. way. You're fine. Like, are you so really you can still. You can still I'm like, would you like to go one more? It's all those pies. Uh, <laughs> that's 30. <laughs> Doing the back. Fuck him up. <laughs> well, well, he, he, could, he, could, he has two targets potentially. That's true. You could you could come around here. Well, I, I feel like immediately blowing my ship. Um, Do it. Blow your shit. Which way are you going? I mean, you want to go this way or this way? I'm going to use my ability here and now before oh, I make determinations oh. about movement. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. I say, Dandy, watch your aft. And I see the one that's shooting and coming towards Dandy. And I see the one that's shooting and going after uh, Pike. And I will. Uh, both of my wrists will unhinge on the suit, and I will reach out for one and reach out for the other, and I will attempt to grab both of them. They need to make Holy a dexterity shit. saving throw, Amazing. each of those two targets, because they're both within 30 feet of me. You okay. unhook the wrists of your uh, your juggernaut armor. You, you put your hands out in their directions, and then almost like rockets kick in. You fire your arms out far longer than they would go normally, and you attempt to grab onto both targets. You can see these, this long cable that finally reaches its uh, uh, zenith before uh, attempting to it's grab like on. Sticky oh, hands yeah. and machines. <laughs> um, uh, five and an eight. They both fail. I grab onto the oh uh, top of one, and you hear this, if you could hear in space, a crunch, <laughs> and then yeah. I grab the back of the other one, and this. then all of a sudden the, uh, the cables tighten and pull forward, and I use both of their momentums to collide them in midair. What? Uh, Smash! I, they both fail. Uh, are either ships under uh, 50 hull points? They are not. They are not. Jesus. Okay. Uh, well, I need to get my baggie of dice boys. out. I say these are hefty, yeah. hefty boys. I wonder what that yeah. Real space pirates. Two, one, I did like 31. 31. Oh, 12. Yeah. 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 One, two, three, four. We got, we got some, some fight ahead of us here. Yeah. Okay, that's going to be 10, 22, 27, 36 plus. Uh, that's 40, 44. Uh, I'm going to do 52 points of damage to both of them Holy as they collide yeah. in midair. <laughs> Which ones were those? Uh, one and two. One and two. And it was fi 50 how many? 52. What? Yeah, what did you just say? 52? 52 points of... of, oh of my God. Uh, and that's uh, one and two? Damage. Is that your once a day special? Yeah. yeah. I love that! <laughs> Let's go! Why not? That's I can't, way, I can't wait yeah. to use mine. Now I have to use the rest of my movement, and I believe I've already used my heading turn. So let's find out how collisions work, because yeah. I necessarily have to collide into the ship in front of me. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. More so than you've already caused. Let's, you just uh, gonna barrel through this bastard. <laughs> yeah. Let's roll a uh, all is roll an athletics contest against whoever you'd like to collide with. 
Uh, I'll, I have to. Right? I have to. It go has to be number yeah, one. I have to go into that. Guy. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Athletics contest. Yeah. <laughs> um, do I use my? I don't know if I have athletics as a ship. Is that? Uh, am I using my uh, D and D stuff for for athletics? Or am I using? My uh, add your whatever your normal to hit was. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, dirty twenty. Nice. <laughs> contest. Uh, it's a nineteen. <laughs> um, wow. what nice. Is your, what is your normal uh, like auto attack punch damage? Uh, my juicer would be two d ten plus eight. Oh, this guy's toast. Oh god. He's he's, he's space Adams. Yeah. He's just <laughs> he's um, space junk now. So you you fire out your hands. You uh, as the the you pull them back easily. You slam these two ships together in front of you, and then you charge forward uh, and you bash into the first ship and you deal whatever and roll a roll an attack. Uh, I do, uh, that's gonna be 13, 21 points of additional bludgeoning damage as I crash into him. I will release the other ship, and I'll, I think I'm just spinning around before I finally release and go my final movement and get onto the other side. Is that a fair way of putting it? <clears throat> but, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, and uh, you, you smash these ships together, you charge forward, your momentum can't be stopped. As you move through ship one, you shatter its hull and it separates in two, destroyed. All right. Uh, you can see that its pilot uh, we'll say ejects as it sees you coming, oh, oh, uh, and you see this uh, this Saurian pilot eject out, uh, and it flies back to the main ship, uh, and it is dead. You you hear a rare laugh from Labouche's calm. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully uh, done. Yeah, that was awesome. You saved me. Oh, Number that was some sick teamwork. Oh, know. the boss goes now. Oh. That's why I'm here. <laughs> It's the boss's turn. Good effort so far, but you won't beat us to the doctor. Uh, and oh, no. there's someone floating in space. Stuff. What? <laughs> uh, Are you coming for me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Finally! Uh, I've been floating for months. <laughs> oh shit! Who's that? Incredible. Um, it will fly forward. It just twice. Turn. <laughs> oh god! No, no, no! It'll turn <laughs> so it's targeting Rhett. Oh, uh, uh, it's well, gonna have to. It's gonna have to go. It's got to go further. To okay. Get, to get him yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Well, you know, so get, get close yeah, enough. Yeah. Turn. Four, What's his movement? Two, two, and fifty. Fifty. Okay, he can make it there. Four. Four turn. Turn. That's yeah. He's he's okay. good. Cut. He's in dead right. So. Yep, oh, no. Yep, right. yep. 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 And you'll see this ship as it moves forward. The front of it has a large circular hull. Um, it has two giant cannons that come out from the front, uh, and it has kind of like a bulbous body that forms behind it with one single enormous, uh, enormous blaster jet. Uh, as it takes aim on you, you can see both cannons whir up and start to fire out these giant orbs of white and green energy Don't you as they approach. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Don't you do that? And uh, I will have <laughs> my captain. A, yeah, my captain. Uh, I will have a nineteen and a twenty-two. Get yeah, out of here. those both. Do you have any kind of? You gotta have some kind of. Uh. Oh well, we'll see oh, what kind of damage shit. it is. Okay, all right, all right. I thought you had some. <laughs> Full power to shield tank. So as these orbs fly out and the, each one lands on you, let me roll. Is uh, is Hank in like a little R two D two pod, <laughs> or is he still on the ship? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! That was really good. That was so fucking good. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Holy shit! There will be art of Hank for next session. Stay tuned. And yeah, we'll have full art of the whole party uh, next yeah. next session. And there'll be minis and everything else. Or technically session three. 36 points of damage, and okay. as the blasts <laughs> land on you, they explode and pulse, and they damage everyone around <gasps> you. What type of damage is <laughs> this dungeon oh! master? Uh, it is force damage. Yes! Yeah. Uh, yes! Chuckles, you may roll a uh, uh, deck save. 
Oh, well, th thank goodness he didn't target. Oh! 30, 36, 46, what did you say? 30, 36 points of damage. Uh, so as I say, full power to shields, you'll see the ether tank sort of glow and hear this almost like whirring and, and clunking. As, as I get hit, there's almost this like faint purple shield flash over the ship as I get blasted. And I'm resistant to force damage. Mm. Sick. So I take... 18. What's that? Is it 18? Yes. 36. 18 Thank you. points of damage. What did you roll, Chuckles? I got a 16. Oh. Is you pass? <laughs> you should dread me. Yes. Yeah, you should dread so. me. I believe so. Okay. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah I'll dread you, you son of a gun. Yeah, thank you, Chad. Oh, yeah, that's true. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, I got a 14. A delicious oh, nice, dread. you failed. Oh, oh so right. you got dread. Did you use one? I just used him, man. Yeah, that was really good. Sorry, Chuckles. That was cool. Oh, you sucker. You take full damage, and it's all force damage. Oh, God, how much is that? 36. Oh! My whole point! <laughs> I need a marker. Now it's time for you to get revenge. Oh, you need a marker? Here. <clears throat> Provide the balls. Do you want to track your health? Oh, he's got 10 more movement, oh, though. He does have 10 more. Yeah. Wait. Uh, oh, you oh he does have movement. You mean, you mean, uh, yeah. He will uh, turn directly to the right and move forward. He can't. He has to move what? and then turn, right? Well, no, I don't no, think only, he's moved Only on yet. the first move. So he hasn't turned yet. So he could turn and he could move this way. Right there. Yep. <laughs> you fool. <laughs> You've fallen right into the classic trap. Yeah, oh, so. Pike is coming so. for that ass. <laughs> uh, after getting blasted by uh, this explosive cannon, uh, I'll, I'll be spinning around and there's actual like canaries around my head tweeting. <laughs> As there's spirals in my eyes. Uh, space canary. And I'm just going... One. Two. I'm just doing it. <laughs> You're going right up his aft. <laughs> Straight up the porthole! <laughs> uh, three. Oh my god. I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Uh, can't find a more secundous way to do that, so you don't necessarily go straight up his portal. Oh, no, he, wait, you entered into this square, and you haven't turned yet, or you already turned? I already turned. Oh, yeah, you're just turned. Yeah. You're, gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna bump him. <laughs> Boom. That's his aft. Yeah, bump him in the aft. It's right in the aft. <laughs> right. You right. made the, the fatal flaw of leaving oh, your aft exposed. <laughs> Prepare for my die move, and I'll press a big button <laughs> that just says pie on it. As uh, I press an out of the ship from the bottom of the uh, saucer will be a large gloved hand uh, on a metal uh, spoke <laughs> with just a gigantic pie on it. And I don't know if this actually does anything from the aft, but basically I'm going to use, and I will look at him and I'll uh, put on uh, like aviator sunglasses and I'll say, honka, honka, honka. Yeah. Right, in the, oh, yeah. right in the aft hole. Honka, 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 bitch. <laughs> and I'm going to ye yeet the pie into his aft. <laughs> and a more elderly clown appears in your mind. Use the honk. <laughs> So I, I roll a d6. Does anything? I don't know if anything happens because I'm at his aft and I throw a pie. Well, if you roll for attack, I think you get advantage on the attack. So I just roll a d6, I think. So it's funny that you would approach the iron sides from behind. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> normally, you would enjoy advantage with your positioning, but <gasps> against Bracken in the iron hide uh, uh -oh. armor, <laughs> it, uh, it is a normal attack. However, activating your honka 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 ability, you do roll a d6. <gasps> okay. He's got a big heft. I got a three. They used to call us the Iron Behind. <laughs> <laughs> this is so, you can't make this up. Uh, you're as you smash the button, and oh. you're exactly correct. A little bloop opens up in the back of your UFO, and a metal arm extends out and flips open and catapults at Bracken a cream pie. <laughs> uh, and you may roll. 4d10 damage plus your add. Uh, Holy it will shit. explode. I don't know how best to represent this, but as it lands and explodes, it will cover the space that uh, he is in and every square around it 
with a creamy uh, exterior, <laughs> making it uh, difficult terrain. Uh, are we going to use this map again? Because otherwise, we can just draw. Let's on just it. Let's draw on it. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. We're do we have a again. like a lighter marker? Uh, just put a just put a just put a paper towel around it. Or <laughs> under, <laughs> underneath this it. work? I don't know if it'll show up. This is the this janky one. thing we were fighting over for the last hour. Yeah. That it's not, it might not show up on TV very well. And then but. here's mine. What is that? We'll, we'll, That's you can be able to see it. Oh yeah, yeah it's works. good enough. Yeah, it's, yeah, good, it's enough. good enough. That's difficult. Terrain. Um, we'll and you can mark it under terrain. him. You say that includes the under space shuttle? Well. Well. It's so. difficult space. It would include. Space it is space space landed terrain. and Absolutely. has. Is that what we're saying? Is is difficult terrain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's well, difficult space terrain. It, yeah. Well, now he's really. <laughs> it's challenging. As you. It's a sticky pie. Go. Thirty-six points of damage. Oh. And. I have two movement left, but I'll just use one and still. Oh wait! I can't pull off! I can't pull off! <laughs> I made a miscalculation. They came from behind. behind. <laughs> what? How much damage did the pie do? Uh, Thirty-six, I believe. Twenty. Oh, hold on. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. So 38. the rules do say they can't occupy the same space. So something yeah. will happen, but you know, I don't know. It'll probably bounce off. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Athletic contest. Oh. <laughs> or you'll explode into space junk. Oh! Ooh! That's pretty good. Oh! Uh, what do I add to that? It's what a space what junk. Do I add you, you can add your plus, uh, plus to There's no yeah. vertical movement in space 24. for now. 25! That's all. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> like the fucking guy in the pot race. <laughs> <laughs> Just fireball. Now this is bond racing. <laughs> <laughs> you, as your arm launches out this cream pie at his half, uh, it explodes, <laughs> spreading a creamy pie all throughout space. Leave it to Charles <laughs> to do something sexy. <laughs> Yikes for me, dog. And, and, but you can't pull up. You're stuck in your own cream pie residue. And you drive straight into the back of Bracken's reinforced hull. Uh, and you take 14 points of damage. That's not too bad. Uh, and you bounce back Did off and end where you were. Damage? It was that real. So he? Oh no! Oh yeah! No, he did. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, that's uh, that's a little rough. So it's the same way. It's not like a scatter die or anything. I just no. You just, you just you just bounce back. You just ram like a, in like a bumper car. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, monsters good. three. Uh, which one was three? Three. Uh, will attempt to like fly like towards Labouche if I can. Like really yeah. So it's down. facing the direction. Yeah. yeah. Do you want it? Does one, two, three, four? Well. What do I say? They have 50 feet of movement? So what I would say, for future reference, I think it makes sense to like start your attack one square away. So you have room. Yes. So that when you move, yeah. you can turn and yeah. you're not automatically Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Alright, let's do that. So let's that's what, that. if, if I was this intelligent pilot, which I'm not yeah. saying that he's intelligent, he's this guy's, you know, goon. He does that but. thing you said and he rolls to attack. Okay. <laughs> I'm an iron side. <laughs> they pay me an ice cream. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> 12 and 23. 12 and 23. 12 and 23 to you, Derek. Uh, 12 and 23 to you. Oh, for what? Uh, to AC. Yes, uh, the 12. The 12 misses. I love Chunky Monkey! <laughs> I love this guy. I hope he doesn't die horribly. <laughs> A great big bush. No, ah! no. We're gonna take no prisoner situation. Yeah. You take you take twenty points of laser damage as the Saurian lasers fire off and uh, land in your dreadnought armor as they collide with your chest. This armor was made to withstand lava on planets. <laughs> I laugh. All right, I'll finish my movement. Uh, ah, forty percent, Dolomite. <laughs> I'll finish my movement, heading towards Bracken. It's Dolomite. Okay, so he a turn, and then because so he has, a, so he has a turn yet, right? It would be move one, then turn. Yeah, and then he could go this uh, move one, way. then then he could turn again. Yeah, and then, and then, he then could that go that way. way. Yep. All right. All perfect. Right. Uh, That's right. Nice. One, two, three, four. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. I can I, do I have to move first or can I attack? You have to move first. Uh, oh, you, you, you can attack. You can attack. Yeah, yeah, I think you can. You can attack. attack. You just have to move your full movement. The issue. The issue is that you have to attack on the on the in the cone. Yeah, yeah, I think technically well, we it's would a, make it's some a marker that would be a cone. It's a cone, right? So that would that would be like this, and he would be good. 
right? Like we'll oh, have to yeah. make a we'll have to make like a cone marker. You could hit Bracken and good. Chuckles. Right yeah, now. you could just blast Chuckles and get him out of this campaign forever. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, <laughs> this is convenient. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting my whole life for this. <laughs> So if I'm facing this way, I have to go that way, yes. that direction first yeah. For, yeah. for for the first but movement. Can but then if you, you can... wanted to be facing this way, we'll just give it to you. Because you, yeah. you didn't deploy your own yeah, ship. Yeah, we just. Well, we either did. way. So I'm trying to think of what would the range of my ultimate be? Would that be still 40 feet? 40 feet. feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So if this is difficult terrain. You gotta, it's, it's an orb of of pie bits. How, does it, how <laughs> One, hard is it to go through? Two, three, the half it's movement. Fine. Yeah, you have half. So if I have half of my, if I have. Can I go into this space? Yeah. Sure. Just, I You're gonna get just... cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> don't do that. It's a terrible decision. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you, I don't know. I mean, you, hey, you do you, man, but... I'm just... Uh, let me just, I just wanna play this out. So one, two, two... This is very tactical. This is very tactical. Well, wh why don't you, why don't you flip me? Uh, I can't turn that fast, can I? No. Uh, well, it depends. Hold yeah, you, on. You if you go one and then turn this way, and then one and turn this way, oh, I'm yeah. gonna go one. That's fine. And then one, no, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. Uh, I'll, I'll turn hangs so now or never, buddy. And I'll be um, my my sort of cybernetic eye, which is my left eye. Uh, yes, my left eye. Oh, shit. Or my no, but it's, it's, right it's, it's my right eye. eye. Will yeah. start to sort of like glow this green color um, as it makes all these calculations, and uh, you will see Hank sort of like uh, starting to growl, like like he's powering up these Goku. <laughs> you will see this main ether cannon start to glow with this purple, deep blues, and almost like. Uh, this, this is sort of black magic as all of the tanks of ether are sort of draining and powering this cannon. And I will use, what's it called? Dark Star Missile. Ooh! Uh, and the cannon will go Poof! It's like that's it's like the Hunan cannon from Final Fantasy oh, VII yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that obliterates uh, Rufus Shinra. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to shoot it here. If I if I can just pick a space to shoot it, yeah, you can pick a space. I'm gonna to shoot, shoot it heat here. The can just turns. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll, shoot it I'll here. I'll do this. You can. Yeah. So one two. So unfortunately, Dandy's in it, but she's fast. One two. He's in it. That's fine. <laughs> one two three. One two. One two three. Well, if it's like a space. Anyway, basically everybody here. Everyone except for Chuckles. Is it a three hex radius? No, no. no. Everyone except Chuckles and Pike gets. Yeah, we're good. Hit. I love that. That's the darkest star I've ever seen. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's a black hole. So it will sh fire off, and then after it shoots 40 feet, it will go <laughs> as this ether will almost like turn into this like dark black hole, almost like dark star, and you will see the ship start to kind of like careen over and get dragged towards it. So everybody you pull up this energy into your main cannon. It drains the tanks. Uh, Hank is powering up like Son Goku uh, <laughs> as this orb forms at the end of it, purple, and at its at its very core, just a small dot of pure black. As it fires off into that space, at first uh, you think a dud, what's happening? Nothing's occurred, and then suddenly, poof, and a black orb exists as purple swirls out from it and creates almost a whirlpool as it starts to draw everything around it into its influence. Okay. Um, <laughs> See you guys. So the tar so the initial attack, because I didn't target anything, I'll just skip that damage, I think that's fine. <laughs> but it leaves a 30 foot radius gravity 30, pulse 30, okay. in the target zone for 30 seconds. A target that starts its turn there takes 2d10 mm. force damage and must make a strength saving throw. On a failure, the target can only move half its speed from the center. Mm. Uh, yeah, any target yeah, within the sphere yeah, moving yeah. towards its center moves at double its speed. Any target with with the sphere moving towards its... Oh, I see. If you're going yeah, towards you're going it, towards you go it. double. Because yeah. you're getting sucked in. You're getting sucked to hell. <laughs> uh, yeah. Same radio. Where are you at? So that will be... Yeah. So there it is. 
That's right. Oh, I have to move, don't I? So it doesn't do anything now until... I'm if I had, like, targeted him, it would have done a ton of damage. Okay. Uh, but I, I didn't understand that before I used <laughs> it, so that's fine. Uh, so I moved... I moved one. So you can, you can turn. Now. I can turn here? Yep. Yeah. Two. Three. Four. Can I turn here and just end my turn? Yes. Yeah. 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 That's it. All right. <laughs> so does uh, it do damage if they get to the, the gravity center? Uh, or from here on out, it doesn't do any damage, and maybe it, it does line. damage oh, every time you start your turn within, within, within okay. that massive sphere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 jeez, Louise. Yeah. So hang on. So you're saying so 10, 20, 30, and then basically yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh boy, what a mess! What a mess! Um, <laughs> how are we gonna get out of this one? Um, one, two, three. I might be going in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. This one. Hold on, hold on. For, as long as we're doing this. All right, so Monsters 4, I believe, uh, as Labouche is demonstrating, I start within the influence of the Dark Star. Yes. Yes, you <clears throat> Okay. So that is... Where did I, where did I put that? It, like, just misses me. Wow, you lucky son of a gun. Yeah, it's out this way. Oh. Hey, you're literally a son of a gun. Are you a son of a gun? <laughs> So it's who's going? So it's it's ship four. Okay. Uh, you're, took, you're in it. You're in it. Yeah. It ship took. Uh, you can see as you look out that as this dark star expands uh, and all of these ships begin in its influence, uh, you can see almost the hull on this uh, ship begin to wear and buckle under the pressure of the sheer gravity that draws it in, uh, and uh, whether or not it intends to. It moves two squares closer to the center of the star. <clears throat> if you help me out. Oh uh, yeah, here. sorry. Here. This no, guy. I'm so, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so one, two. Yeah, but that's only one movement because he's faster. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if he wants to move away from it, he has to make a strength saving throw, or else he's half speed yeah. away from it. Got it. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. <clears throat> oh wow. <clears throat> When this happens, so I have a reaction to evade this, and I'm wondering if I can do that. Like when you put that, when you put that thing down, can I evade it? I think you've used that already. Oh. Yeah, so you get one reaction oh, okay. until it's your next turn. Okay, got so it. So on your turn, your reaction got will refresh. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Darn. Okay. It rolled a fifteen. Uh. What is my D? Oh, is it? Uh, it says here. I think it's it? included there. I think that barely passes, wow. so it can move okay. normally. Uh, huh. uh, so it will turn and uh, tr turn to the left and fly and turn to the left again and then <laughs> angle towards red. There's gonna be a lot of friendly fire in this yeah. fight. <laughs> Let me tell you, everybody better buckle up. Uh, <laughs> and roll twice to attack. Dodge the bullet here. 19 and 13. Uh, 19 hits. Huh? <clears throat> 14 points of force damage. Force, you say? Mm -hmm. All the so all the lasers from the ships are all force. Perfect. You lucky long bugger. Uh, and that is dandy. So with this with this thing that I'm in, I have to go towards it. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. You no. Move away okay. from it. It's just if you're trying to move away from it, you have to make a strength saving throw. You can still move away from it. You just it basically halves your movement. Got it. So you need to. I have to. Go you have there. to go here. So, so that takes twenty. Or oh, you do take 20. you take two oh, D ten damage. Oh, you take two. Yeah, it is well, not automatic. Yeah, I did. I did. Is it, yeah. is it nine like points of damage? Ten to oh. enter and then twenty to get out of it, or is it takes you twenty to get into this? Oh, space? no, I mean, it's once you're in the space. I think then it's twenty. Then it's twenty. So it's ten to ten to get ten to get in twenty to get out. Okay. You said nine points of damage? Nine points of damage. Right. And technically, Shit. you'd move twice as far, but the, the pie stops you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I want to get out of this. Oh, maybe maybe uh, it would uh, turn well, this so. way. You wouldn't be able to. Yeah, you, you, can't, can't. you can only turn one face at a time. Yeah, and oh. you got ships on either then? side. You can. You will probably take damage, but you... You could, like, but fly around it, like, this way. Yes. But it's but it'll damage, be slow. Well, no, no but it's, no, no, it's, no, no, it's speeding you up. Oh, oh, oh. So it's so just normal. Here. If you're right, so right now it's just normal. But I'm now you turn. Yeah. Right. Now you need to make strength saving yep. throw. 
to see how much movement you have left. So make oh. a strength saving throw. throw. Once you get here. Because they negate each other, right? Oh, this yeah. is like calculus. Yeah, this is wild. Holy. <laughs> this is some wild what shit. What is my strength? These are some cool abilities. Uh, this is plus eight. Plus eight, okay, so 18. 18. <clears throat> so so, that, so that passes. Oh, it's his DC. So now, oh, it's yours. Okay. so this is still difficult terrain. Uh -huh. I'm 20. I'm a... Uh, uh, Unless you want to keep going this 60. way. This is your 40, 40 movement 60. right now. Okay, so I Do you want to go here or do you want to go here? I'm gonna go ahead and go with the smaller guys right there. Okay. And that's 50 feet of movement. Okay. You will have 60 feet of movement? Yeah. So you have to move into one of these squares. Oh, yeah, okay, so I'll stay so there for now. So I'm gonna... Um, yeah, you'll want to turn in. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to cast... Um, well, do I have to be... Yeah. So I'm gonna cast the magna magma shot that I have. So Ooh. the pterodactyl has jets on it, we're gonna say not hands. The, wing, wing yeah, jets. Like, like wing jets, yeah. Wing, wing, jets? wing okay. cannons, wing cannons. Wing cannons wing that are wars. going to shoot at, <laughs> let's say, this one. That's one. Uh, or the, I mean, this guy right here. I think you have to shoot the one yeah. in front of you. Oh, I do, yeah. great. Yeah. I don't know what number that is, I can't see it. Oh, that's well, number five. five. Yeah. Give him the business. To hit, do I need to do to hit, or no, I'm just giving. to hit? You rolled to hit. Yeah. Just one, right? Okay. That's a uh, natural 20. Natural 20! Yeah. 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 The most insane. You're, you're flying through pie stuff. There's yeah. a fucking dark yeah. star next yeah. to you. There's those a primal instincts. You're navigating all the way through this. You, like, you earned it. it. You really earned that. You natural thread the needle. <laughs> the cry of a <laughs> pterodactyl <laughs> cries out. And you get to roll again to attack him again. You're Tom Cruise in the Kobayashi Maru as he does it in under two minutes. You can attack again. That's ten. What? You're mixing. You're mixing. Yeah, you're mixing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does it in ten yeah. parts. Yeah. 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 He does it in eleven parts. I really love Ganondorf. 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 Ganondorf in the Goblet of Flagon of Fire. You're a wizard, Link. Twenty-five damage. To which one? Number five. Number five. Ooh. And then quick math this way, right? How much? How much damage? Twenty-five. Oh my ass. Oh. Is it below ten health? Actually, I think no, it's, it's not below yeah, 10 health. Yeah. If you've gone over here, does your passive proc at all? Oh, on, the start start. Of on the start of it. Yeah, you actually soon. Like yeah, soon. Um, yeah. Um, I am going to say, before I move, is it okay to do this before I move? I'm going to do a star scream, which is where I literally, like, <laughs> and then all of the ships within 30 feet. So I think that includes this one. You said right? that was before you moved? Yeah. So it actually oh, includes yeah. one, two, three, four. And that's me. actually and everyone except, except and rat. That's and everyone Kavir. except for <laughs> enemy uh, targets. Enemy targets oh, only. I'm safe. Yeah. They have disadvantage oh, and only. they cannot have reactions. Oh, these guys are bored. <laughs> so, all right. Bring it on. Uh, and then now you oh, yeah. Oh, it's like on a their EMP. Next roll. On their yeah. next roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pike is so ready. Just so on their next you roll. You have warn us right. before you do roll. it. Yeah. Oh, she's going to do the thing. And I get these giant fingers and just plug my ears. <laughs> Pterodactyl like wings with yeah. this big old like, yeah. crusty eyelid. I can't eyelid. hear it over Days of Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> I assumed that when you said you were going to star scream, you were going to be like, but Meta Megatron, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why are you in charge? Uh, I'm supposed away. to go into Septicon! <laughs> it's a primal Starscream, so it's a little more. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Sorry lovers of Starscream. Uh, where's the fifth one? Starscream right. fans are not welcome. They're here. not welcome. Uh, oh, so, so it he starts. Takes damage. Yeah, it starts with then. So. Or, Rich, you can roll it. it oh. Takes, it takes 4d6 damage, by the way. Or 4, four damage. Oh, it takes four damage from you? From my passive. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And seven points of damage oh. from the... Oh. From the gravity. Eleven. Is it? Oh, God, it's like one. Is it? It's close. Oh! oh. 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 It's, it's close. Um... <laughs> uh... Okay, it will, it will, uh, fly forward. Uh, and it's this one, yeah. So that's fine. And then it'll turn and try and fly straight through the Holy star smokes. and come out the other side. Oh, Whoa. he's getting crossed. What an idiot. He'll just. He'll just <laughs> Love ice yeah. cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll say, I can try. <laughs> we'll I say, have ice cream. <laughs> we'll say I'll roll a strength save at disadvantage. He's gone. You, what have, you have to roll a disadvantage. It's all point and laugh, right? and that. Oh, dumbass. I have to roll disadvantage anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Is this yeah. double disadvantage? Oh. You're just not rolling. Oh. You don't even get a chance. 14, 14. That <laughs> fails. fails. My DC. Uh, why don't you proc the damage again, Rhett? <laughs> Because I'm flying straight through the star. Is, is the damage at its core way worse? Should it, is it the 2d10 or is it the 4d12 plus 8 from the missile that explodes? 42? 2d10? I mean, probably 4d12. You're in the heart of that. <laughs> no, he's, uh, it's not, I mean, you know, they're painted in ice cream. 
Yeah. He just drove. He, he's he's in Interstellar. He's he's trying, gone. Yeah. He's How gone. could I have foreseen this? <laughs> this little maneuver is going to cost me the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Andros. <laughs> Oh my god, 22. What's the really fucked up line 30. that Wolf says the fox about? 35 like, points of damage. Soon. Oh no, 30 oh, really plus dark. 8, 43 yeah, really points of damage. 43 yeah. points of damage? He's fucked. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dead. He got fucked. Well, he has the sands of time on him, too. Oh, yeah. he, he pulls in and attempts to uh, seize the center of the Dark Star core and attempts to just go right above it to get to support to his team and get over to Labouche. Uh, as the core reaches up and grabs onto the ship, pulling it into its uh, blackened heart uh, and crushes it and disappears, and there's no ejection. <laughs> oh my god. Did we just murder that guy? <laughs> sure did! Get going! <laughs> There's technically no Wait, which, which ones are gone now? That was uh, five, five, and five, and five, and five and one. Five and one. one. Five and one, yeah. That sucks. Pike's turn. There was okay. a very brief moment of ejection. Uh, knowing... <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it's like that guy who gets sucked out of the plane in Executive Decision, starring Kurt Russell. <laughs> uh, being the absolute ace pilot that Pike is, I'm going to use all 60 feet of movement to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60... Turning to line up, knowing that this guy will no longer be there due to amazing uh, calculations and <laughs> physics that I'm just an ace pilot. Uh, and lining everybody up, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, sh I'm shouting into the comms as I make this incredible uh, ace maneuver arc and I yell, uh, Chuckles, Rhett, look out! As I use my uh, pillar of radiance. Oh! oh. Uh, and don't I'm look going at your to. You, I'm gonna <laughs> find yeah. You don't just hear under the table like that. No, 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 it's, it's my <laughs> Uh, I scream, I scream as I thrust. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to use a uh, fire and arcing beam of radiance that deals uh, 5d12 to targets in a line 10 feet wide and 50 feet long. So, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, guys. Oh, uh, it doesn't say roll to hit. I don't know if they have to make an evasion or some sort yes, of. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, everyone will attempt to make a dex save at your DC of 16. So they're disadvantaged. It will my, fire. My it will fires in two, it covers two squares. Oh, does it? Mm -hmm. this says, it's intended to. Well, it says 10 feet wide. So the, we, it's one we're, square. Yeah, well. It's a line for now. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. It's intended it to works. be multiple. That's so. fine. We're good. We're going to smoke these guys. Mm -hmm. They're disadvantaged. My boys are straight up. Let's go. Good luck. You mean two squares wide? Yeah. Two hexes On wide. a normal five, map, it's intended five, to be two D12 squares wide. This is the big boy. I'm going to start rolling my damage. It's going to take me yeah, a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You punch. You yeah, swing yeah. around. Uh, oh, the, the sparrow responds to you as effortlessly as if you had called... Uh, an animal home for dinner. Uh, <laughs> you pull your ship around yeah. and you punch the, the blasters forward. You flip Fine. off the edges and tap the dual buttons at the same time. This central cannon under your ship spurs to life. It crackles with energy and fights and, and fires out this beautiful golden arcing uh, blast swirled with magenta and crackling lightning. Described even better than uh, I could. As it just, it just begins to disintegrate. Well, I don't know how much damage. Uh, I rolled ones and twos and elevens and twelves for twenty nine. Mm. Wow! To, and what's hit? Oh, uh, wait, hang on. Uh, who's who's getting? May I twist this? It, yes, please. There we go. Yes. I pass. Please. I think the yeah. yes. I can do it. Oh. So twenty nine points of damage. Uh, I, She'll I, take I, half. I assume yeah. they take half. Yep. Uh, and these guys will take full if they fail with disadvantage, thanks to Dandy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's right. Who's uh, yeah, the threads, first one? I mean, to be fair. Uh, the first one is number two. 15. What's the DC? I don't oh, have 16. It. I don't have oh, it. it's 16. It's, they're all 16. Okay, well, Spoilers. he fails. They're not very creative. <laughs> no, that's fine. They're all 16. It's a good way to start. It's very he uniform. Um, <laughs> 10. Wrecked, Bracken. Take it. Uh, 29 points. They take full. My boys take half. Oh, what, what ship was that? The the first one that got hit? Uh, two. Number two. two. You rolled okay. a disadvantage, yeah. Yeah, I did roll a disadvantage. I did roll a disadvantage. Uh, it was radiant damage, right? Yes. Uh, radiant. It yes. is radiant damage. And then Bracken takes 29 as well. Yeah, get wrecked, Bracken. You loser. <clears throat> That's my ulterior. Okay, Kavir. Assess the situation. Oh, I guess. Do I take damage coming into this thing? 
Yes, you would. You take two so, d10. Uh, no, it's only when you start your turn. Is what uh, it's or, or next I'm, 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 or I'm, enter or start turn. No, yeah, if, if it's enter. Yeah, let's say. Generally, enter. it's enter yeah, or yeah. start turn. Yeah, yeah, let's say. But I guess that means I'm taking yeah. it twice. It's the DM's oh, choice. Boy, DM's oh, decision. God, I'm gonna get smoked. Oh no, that's a lot. Okay, that's not too bad. Twelve. Well, that's not terrible. Only, you know. Damn it! That's when I roll a nine. Good thing ships can't bleed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right, we're good. My shit coughs up blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, was that a subtle dig at me? I, I'm hearing you guys talk about that on the comms, and Labouche is like, "I feel everything." <laughs> <laughs> Your left wing snaps off. <laughs> All right, so Kavir is gonna go out. One. Is that? Yeah. Yep. Two. Three, four, yep. and then I'll just turn. Oh, I have to use five, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so you can turn, but you can I'll take your action and before I'll... you use the rest of your movement. Yeah. Yeah, so basically just a quick, quick Yui. Uh, yeah, then I'll move yeah. forward one, and then we will attack with our. What is this? The Empiric Gun. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'll take that one. Oh, 17 and a nat 20. Yeah! Oh, let's go! The newbies with the twenties, I oh love gosh. it. Which which one is this? Uh, is that four? Yes. Yeah, four. And that's for just my regular goons. So two d eight plus seven. Let's see, sorry, I'm a little slow with the dice rolls. Mm, that's perfect. All right, so it's a two and a three. So that's five and seven. It's twelve. And then seven and six. Thirteen. Twenty-five. And it's a twenty, so twelve and twenty, so it's thirty-two. Nice. And they get the sands of time applied to them as well, if they're still alive. And that was two? That no. was to number four. Yeah. Oh. Two's dead? Two's not no. dead. He's Two's here. not dead yet. Two's not dead. Apparently, for sure. you know, he withstood my rage. And it was, it was how? On a recount. Oh, shoot, I just forgot. Was it twenty? You said Is 32. there over 25? Oh, 32. 32. Yeah, yeah, 32. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, no, 15. It's good enough for Governor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 20 and as you As you spin the ship around and you see the Saurian ship, you fire off your Imperial blasters, the lasers boof, 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 landing onto uh, the ship. And as it does, you can see some of your sands have started to uh, move and shift and work around the hull, beginning to deteriorate its metal. Ooh. As you can see, as their hull starts to fail. Ooh. <clears throat> All right, and then that's the end of my movement, and therefore the end of my turn. Oh, Ooh, Monsters 2, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Monsters 2, which one is that? Oh, there are three left, oh, nice. Yeah, two, two is, is that guy. Okay. Uh, he can come around and shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he yeah, starts his turn well, in the, the dark. Space. Oh, he does. Oh, come and he needs to be a strength on. saving throw. Oh, that's a good on. point. <laughs> oh, I love him failing this. Who balanced this? <laughs> 11. Uh, 10. Points of damage. He just immediately. No, he's gonna, get, he's gonna get he's gonna get pulled backwards, right? Eleven. Oh, and he failed. No, he just he. It's no, he'll move him. one square closer and then be at half speed. So he moves one square closer to the <gasps> dark star. So he, he collides, collides into the oh, Which, oh, which ship number is this? Three. Two. Two, two hits two into three. And two. is into three. Yeah, get wrecked. How much, do, wait, how much damage did you do? Uh, 11. Times two. 22. Sick. Uh, oh, for me, it was like... Yeah, what's going yeah, on there? Yeah, I've been exact. immediately taken out of it. The session is ruined. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Oh, I like it. Lots of spooky. It collides with the other ship taking 10 points of damage and exploding into dust. Yes! Both of them? Oh, it breaks damn. apart. It no, breaks, no. Oh, it three? Breaks apart. Was that three? Yeah. Okay. Well, two, two into three. Two yeah. into three. So two breaks apart and the pieces get sucked in the oh, black corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're crumpled into nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream! <laughs> <laughs> donkey, donkey. We all scream! <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that is That's Monsters 2. Yeah. Labouche. Labouche. Show them what's for. Uh, take some damage. Take, oh. Give me some damage. Holy moly. 13. <clears throat> um, I will start. You take damage starting. 13, you said? I think starting in it. Yeah. What, what variety? So I take it it's force. It's force, force damage. damage. Thank you. Uh, that's. Going to be right here. 
Oh no, it hurts. Um, <laughs> I will uh, attack with the juicers, which I believe is two attacks. Uh, that's going to be oh. a one and a two. Nice. <laughs> 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 twist, twist, twist. We have a thousand twists. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> twist the damage. Twist. 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 Just twist the damage. Just give myself damage. advantage. Great weapon master. Uh, oh no, this were to hit. Uh, oh, I thought this oh. was damage. Uh, so that's going to be an eight to hit, and finally, I think that maybe a seventeen hits. Seventeen definitely hits. Oh my okay, goodness. it's okay. It's okay. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Yeah, I bet you do. I'm going to ram into him. Just little douche things. Uh, so that's going to be two d10s. Uh, that's one of these guys. God, and that's great. That's going to be nine, 17 points of damages. Two. Uh, that's bludgeoning, three. bludgeoning damage to number three. Wham! Wham! I you crushed down him. onto the. My boosters are still going, and so I ram into him. Let's have an athletics uh, competition. Again with the natural one. Unbelievable. I'm gonna 20. Twist, 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 twist. I rolled a 20. Okay, so I need to well, roll. Well, I got a 20. I need to roll a 14 or higher. You 18. Woohoo! Uh, Alright, uh, so you take another 2d10, according to the way that we did this last time. That's gonna be for uh, 12 points of dam bludgeoning damage, and I end my turn right here. Wow. Oh, if you succeed on it, you move forward. Oh, really? You continue forward. Oh, uh, you, as long as you have movement. One, yeah. two, three. You won't I'll bounce off here. if you like are crashing Into through him. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> my little friend. Um, I will. I'll face him because I don't want to put my aft into him. Uh, I'll, I'll literally just be floating in front of uh, Drakkar. What is his name? Bracket. 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 I was like, Bracket. Left square bracket. Uh, <laughs> what do you still have movement? I'm done with my movement. That's the end of my turn. That's the full movement. Okay. Um, <laughs> you are so great cool. Uh, yeah, come on, man. You got. I planned my turn so well. <laughs> and then here, here comes the I, didn't, I thought I was going like to bounce back. Never played D and D before. <laughs> I, I thought it's I was going to bounce back. Not all of us are ace pilots. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not even in a ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. You're yeah. just like, yeah, you're just you're just blasting off. Pass, right. just use the boost to get through. <laughs> <laughs> right up his ass. <laughs> you think because you've destroyed some ships that means anything. Oh, well, it was foolish what? to fly in front of me. Uh, and he will I changed my mind. I like to, I'm his, no longer the eighth pilot. I like his, to move. His uh, boosters once again. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, that was no, close. No, no. Pike's made a miscalculation. Um, <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh no! <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's see. He through, takes damage from the bush. Yep. Oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. he does. Oh thank he you. Does. Thank he you does. for game state. Come on. Not a big die. Mm, oh actually, I'm starting contest. For yeah. Yeah, but the the damage from red. Twenty one. That's going to be thirteen. Okay. <laughs> you take. 11 points of damage as Bracken's ship runs over you would, would and you, would you just like to moves turn? directly towards, uh, who is that? Is Pike. that bludgeoning Pike. damage? Pike? Yeah, are you sure he doesn't want to turn? <laughs> no, he's good. Okay. Is that That'll bludgeoning? You sure? Last yeah, chance. It'll be, yeah, 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 it'll just be like ramming. Man, I this is going to end badly for you, Mason. Yeah. You sure you don't want to turn? <laughs> uh, 15 points of force damage for the grab. <clears throat> For the grab bomb. And then he needs to make a save once he gets out of, to, oh in order to move into Pike's God. space, he needs to make the save against the grab bomb. Oh, thank God. Didn't he need to do that to make, to do the move initially? He's been going perpendicular. Yeah, so well, I still, think, he would have he, to resist he it. Have to make yeah. the, the, the save there. Oh, yeah. 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 17. 17. Yeah. Okay, okay, we're cool. Yeah. That's yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. He's a beefy, he's a beefy boy. Yeah, he's a boy. He's a the size of that fucker. So every time he's got to make the save? If well, he's just the just when he starts, just at the top of that, his turn. Yeah, that, just make sure I understand. Okay, what? Tell me uh, the bad news. So he, <laughs> uh, he'll attack twice, and I'll spoil it. He hits both times. Well, no, no, hold on. Oh. Hold on. Whoa, 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 I have a reaction. Okay. Advanced okay. reflexes. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, as my reaction, I spend ten feet of movement and I kick it's the sparrows thrusters into overdrive to gain plus four AC, which gives me twenty-two AC. So only one of them hit. Oh, okay. Try a thumberthal. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, exactly. Uh, so these massive yeah, blasts old. fire out at you, and you see them coming. Uh, you're able to kick the boosters in and just do a quick tunnel barrel roll as the first uh, dodges, <sighs> and you're able to, and you're, you're, you get, just get clipped on the back end, uh, and you. Uh, what the hell? 22 points of damage. 
other two pilots. What did he say about the other ships not mattering? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> we still get more ice cream uh, than their shares of ice cream? Yep, Holy that's, shit. that's fine. Holy shit. That's and fine. That is uh, his turn. Uh, that's not good. What there's, happened? A of, there's a lot of people left. What happened if I dropped a zero hit point? <laughs> That's a great question. Don't worry Actually, about the that. DM hasn't it, explained that yet. Don't like, worry about like that. No, no, wait, I, don't worry about that. No, is anybody at zero hit points? Not yet, no, but I have really one hit point <laughs> left and I'm going to get grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm turning into a tuna can. <laughs> there's, uh... <laughs> There's like water spraying at me. There's flashing lights. Seltzer bombs. Yeah, seltzer bombs. Your hat is beeping. Oh, oh, gosh! I barely survived that left attack. <laughs> Seventeen points of damage. It's the highest you rolled. Yeah, literally the highest I rolled. Oh uh, god! A hand will come out of the bottom of the saucer that just says, "Uh oh." <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, so you, so the dark star pulses out. Uh, your uh, clown car is crushed and cracked, uh, and you fall just beneath uh, zero. Its uh, automated, uh, <clears throat> its automated uh, pilot kicks in, uh, and it will send its after blasters to return you to the rhapsody. Uh, Perhaps he's got a tractor beam, probably. Oh. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't get ripped into the like grab wall. And then, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you. Oh. As you head back to the hangar bay. I uh, can't take him. I gotta peel off. I'm, oh, God. I'm the flippy of this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's just smoke popping out <laughs> in his face. Uh, and you make it back Holy and you shit. dock in the Rhapsody for just a moment. That's it. Um, that's, oh. Is there, are there, what are the rules surrounding that? Does he... Uh, be gone. Uh, is he out for combat well, for good? Let's just go to Monsters 3 we'll and then, you know, we'll uh, yeah, We're not gonna, other, okay. Yeah, some other time. Boy. Uh, I love uh, knowing the rules. <laughs> yeah, where, don't ask me about the rules, right? Where's uh, <laughs> Monsters 3? To the uh, left of bracket. Yes. Right here. Right? He's, 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 right, right? he's, he's, he's this way. Into the, into yeah. the cream pipe. Oh, into oh, the, the cream pipe. I'm going to roll two ones. Whoa. Get him out of here. Six points of force damage. But he has to do his saving throw or he could get sucked into the ice cream hole. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> oh, oh, ice cream. Right. <laughs> American <laughs> dream. Oh, <laughs> God. Um, you have dreads. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll just re roll it. I'll oh, take so it you want to make him roll worse? Yeah. Oh, you. Okay. Uh, 19. That passes. I first rolled a 6, so that would good, man. That's bull log. Um, <clears throat> thanks, everybody. Uh, so, that ship 3 will fly towards... Who, who is that? Kavir? Yeah. Kavir. All right. It'll fly towards and, Kavir. Okay. Yeah. And and one, two. Uh, yeah. And three, four. Roll to attack. Five, six. Wait. Oh, he can get out. It's, it's right? One, two, two, two four... This is difficult terrain. Yeah, yeah, but getting into it's 10. Oh, yeah, yeah. So one, so 10, then two, three. 20, two, three. Four, yeah. five. Four, yeah. five. Yep. Yeah. So he can. Yeah, they can turn. That's oh, exactly, wow. That's, that's exactly exactly four right for him. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 14, for now. 14 and 16 to hit. Uh, 16 hits. One does. I've been a little reckless with my uh, hull points. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we all learned some things today. We learned some things. Uh, nine points of damage as the lasers space. fire yeah. out and uh, oh, right. land into your hull. To dog fight. To dog shite? To dog shite in your face. Yay! Uh, uh, cool. And that is Rhett. Um. So this guy's right in front of me. <laughs> I have to go. You I have, have to crash to, yeah, into you him. You have to crash into him. Well, okay. you can attack first. You may be able to blow your way yeah. through. You're also oh, a big God. beefy boy, and just destroy this guy. Just, just, just both. I'm, I'm going to smash right into him. I, I smash like, right I into like him. the idea that it's just you always start your turn moving wherever you're heading. In. I rolled yeah, a six. That momentum like makes so much sense. It. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's yeah. a, it's a athletics. But you can plan for strike turns because you can end on a turn. There's no way to plan. Yeah. Far advanced. I did a great job. You did a oh, acceptable. This actually might be pretty good. <laughs> it didn't go according to plan, it was a fine but it was job. perfectly calculated until it wasn't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, it was perfect until it wasn't. <laughs> okay. I thought I was wrong once, but it turned out I was right. <laughs> uh, what did you win? Oh, no. 16. 15. Oh, 
so I will. I guess what 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 happens now if I fail? <clears throat> do I get pushed back? Yes. And then just do it again. <laughs> <laughs> push, so you can push, turn push back uh, and lose the turn, maybe. Push, yeah. push back. You take four points of uh, right, just bludgeoning damage. Yep. Uh, and then. Uh yeah. Uh, well, I scattered I, I'd say you can you can uh, you can shift from there because you're moving you're moving back and you can reangle as okay. you bounce back. So then I will reangle right this way. Uh, yeah. So no, I think that's I was say stick we'll see. But that takes ten feet of movement. The moving forward and then ba- getting bounced back. Yeah. yeah okay. You just lose one square. So that's the way to do it. Ten, that's twenty, thirty, forty. Because this still cream pie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So oh, yeah, but if you are you in the stars and you have if what? you're in the star's influence, you're moving faster towards the star. So it's straight up. So it's straight oh, up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then I have one more. You get one more square. <laughs> why, are we, why are we crashing into Labouche? What's going on here? Well, he's going to move, right? Uh, well, <laughs> right, what am I, I doing? I'm automatically going to move into you. Oh, I, I would know that, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. probably. Hank would be barking his face off. Well, if I want to, if I want to shoot him with my last movement. You can't. You don't yeah. have any angle. Then off. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sh- I, I will shoot here, yeah, and then can. I will turn towards my. S- yeah. Yeah. That's fine. That's, that's, that's fine. Do it. Yeah. You yeah, can yeah, shoot yeah, around. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm tumbling right now. <laughs> uh, so, so, so right now, right uh, now you're here shooting straight at him. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then I, I, I will end my turn doing that. So. Uh, oh, what is this? What's an A? Is it a b- B A bonus action? Yeah. Ooh. Um, I will say. Uh, Hank, get me vitals on this fella, and uh, Hank will basically yes! do this uh, this little like satellite it. dish will <laughs> go above his head and start spinning around, <laughs> and so all of this information about like whole weaknesses, power levels, HP stuff like that. That's so good. All right, buddy, uh, and that means I can attack at advantage, and oh, I can ask the DM for a- AC, HP, and potential weapons if I care to. Would you send that to, just to him, or do we all get to No, I would announce it, but only he... Oh, well, actually, uh, I would say that announcing it openly, you would, you, like, your computers would share information. So Perfect. you would all know that. We all hear over comms. Um, so, what would you like to know? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, uh, I would love to know his hit point, his, his whole point total. His hull point total is uh, 70 remaining oh out of 150. God. Yeah, we're, we're completely fucked. 70 um, remaining, so he's taking 80 points. He's over half. Yeah, we're test. Am we I still advantage because of Dandy's thing? <laughs> or no, is that gone? We got this. Um, I think you just said you were at advantage, right? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. okay. Um, How long does your thing last? I will also, I will tell you, I'll tell Only you, five you gain, you'll gain two other portions of information That's from the scan. Hour. Right. Uh, you would learn that the hull is the it's uh, four hull is reinforced, and if you attack uh, head on, you're at disadvantage. Uh, oh, and it, you would learn that it has an ability called Tricera Charge, that has a twenty foot range. Uh, and if you start within, uh, if there's a target. With- if there's a target within 20 feet of uh, you as it as you start, uh-huh. uh, it will charge at that ship, spearing it uh, and dealing an amount of damage. I sweat beboppingly. <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky oh, it's not the quad or whatever. Yeah, right. Like, it could be so much worse. Uh, well, regardless, I rolled so I rolled two 14s and a one, but the first one would have been disadvantage, so it wouldn't have been advantage with the scan. It's back, back counters out. Cause, oh no, this is from behind. Wait, yeah, it's from behind. You're you don't yes. gain advantage. Oh, you don't gain advantage. Yeah, you yeah, just don't because the iron sides. Yeah. yeah, you found that out. Chuckles found that out. Oh, oh no, no, no. I mean, I did the scan, which gives me advantage. Yep. Yeah. But this is his back, not his front. Correct. So I, I was advantaged. I hit that, and then I rolled a natural one. So only one hits, uh, and I think it is two D, two D ten plus eight. I, I still like the canon that they were called nice. the Iron Behinds and then they had to rebrand. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, 20 points of force damage, mm-hmm. and then I will go nice for my last. Oh, this has been a way over no. here. It's all right. We're figuring it out. Yeah. Can you turn the other way? <laughs> uh, you wouldn't know. You, you, you do you. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. we're, we're metagaming. We're metagaming the shit out of this. We gotta, we gotta, yeah. Everybody's got pilot direction. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's where I'm going. You're good. Okay. Well, you just ruined my turn. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's like Monsters that's 4. Dandy in here. Oh, uh, man, Monsters that. 4. Which one's that? This one. That one. <laughs> yes, you <laughs> avoid. Uh, yeah. Reasonable? That well, they that just contest that with each other. Yeah, wait, hang on, hang on. Sansa time. 
Uh, four damage. Oh, he has, he oh for which one? For number four. Mm. Athletics contest. Oh, he needs ready. to make a strength so. Oh yeah, strength. first he has to. Oh the, wait, yeah. He, he takes we'll damage do the dark star first. Yeah. Oh. You've done so much damage. Really yeah, bad. it's pretty crazy. Uh, fourteen points of damage. And then four from the. Wait, 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 hang on. Hang on. <laughs> It's four, this is oh, this was an ability that I suggested to Mace in some form, and Mace was like, "Let's crank the damage up." <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, and then feet, four points yeah. from the Sands of Time. Uh, so this ship would. Uh, oh, first you have to. That run. was ship four. Yeah. Huh? Uh, that was ship four. Four. Correct. So he he he's beat the saving throw to get out of here. No, he hasn't moved yet. He hasn't yeah. moved yet. He's taking damage. So. Uh, yeah, I'm just taking damage at the start of the turn. I'm taking all the damage mm-hmm. that starts at the beginning. And so now strike saving throw against the grab. <laughs> yeah, he well, let me just explain the, the situation really oh. quick. <laughs> uh, so as the heart of the Dark Star pulses out and the hull begins to crack and quake, uh, you, you see if you look over the sands from uh, Kavir's blasters, the Ooh. sands of time, uh, where at the metal of the ship uh, deteriorating it as it turns the hull of this uh, ship to dust, oh! and it uh, disintegrates it, like, rusts into the air. Rusts it like, rusts and, and disintegrates in out. Oh, oh the pilot. man! <laughs> the pilot. This one ejects. Is he within the dark star? He ejects yeah, 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 yeah. and he gets so stuck in the dark star. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I'm free. But he has, <laughs> he has a lot of time to think about. Right, exactly. He's like, oh. Uh, no, it actually happens very quickly. He gets spaghetti <laughs> as he's yeah. like closer to the I dark star. I intended for them all to get away. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I forgot about a black hole. Uh, and that was. Oh, man, four. I was saving the finale of Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> okay. Okay. We never finished it. Is, as a pterodactyl, in my form, even though I'm shape shifted ish into this fighting pterodactyl form, can I um, know the health of my allies? My friends, can I notice like their uh, damage on their ships enough to know if they need help? You, uh, yeah, but you you wouldn't like normally necessarily know that offhand unless you're like looking around and anyone was like obviously looking very. I mean, Chuckles obviously is fucked. Yeah, <laughs> but I can't see him anymore because he's gone. Right? He's in the rhapsody. Yeah. So can't see. I don't know what anyone else's health total Pikes, is. If you, I would say the sparrow. You, is, you is, can is, certainly ask uh, the status of everyone's ships, perception and we'd be check. more than happy okay. to tell you. Comms. I, as a pterodactyl, do I have the comms? Yeah. Sure. Okay, yeah. cool. I want to know like the status of the ships. Yeah. Who is the most damaged? Gentlemen, who would like to go first? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 58, so I'm good. Okay. I'm, I'm all right. I got plenty of shield left. 62. Uh, I would say that you would see the the, the sparrow. Uh, there's blinking red, red lights going on inside. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can see from inside the hole that Pike is kind of lean back. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and over the comms, he goes. He's ready to meet his maker. Uh, well, Rhett, this might be the one that finally does me in. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, so um, that's good to know. I am going to. I, you said I have to move before I take an action. You no, know, you, you, you just have to move. Thing? You have to use all your movement, but okay. you can. Act you have to move the move. direction you're facing. Okay, so I'll go forward sense. one, yep. and then that way. Yep, one, and then do I take damage because I'm in the circle yes. thing? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. You do. Yeah. yeah. Five. Is there a saving throw? Oh, you need a saving throw. Oh, to saving throw. throw. Oh, back, back her up. So I hope you don't get ice creamed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're, twist, we're twisting. Yeah, I love that. the yeah. chunky monkey. <laughs> I mean, statistically, it isn't it's impossible yeah, yeah, that you roll five, 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 five natural ones. <laughs> I love okay. the monkey of chunk. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to cast That's so good. summon sure. the constellations. So Ooh. I'm going to summon the constellations onto Pike. Sick. And it's going to be really cool. It's going to like literally fall from the sky, like the starries Ooh. falling from the sky onto Pike. And you are going to heal 2d10. Oh, that might, on. that might do it. And you, once per turn, you cool. can choose to gain advantage on a roll Ooh. for 60 seconds. So it's um, 13. Ten but IRL. 13. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and start. 13 healing. 13, 13 okay, yeah. okay. Plus your, plus your modifier. Oh, but, plus uh, 6. Whatever your modifier. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so 19. 19. 19. Yeah, did 19, 19 healing. <clears throat> so nice. these stars yeah, shine bright as you summon the forces of the constellation. <laughs> You'll see almost like like shooting stars. White lights yeah. will just boom, 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 
and form uh, the shape of what almost looks like uh, a coursing river as they take their spots around uh, Pike uh, as they swirl through him and they begin to pulse celestial energy into him. You're still in deep shit, though. It's my turn? <laughs> yeah, that's what you think. I, as I see this this heavenly glow, this, this uh, oh. s- um, constellation uh, energy, uh, all of a sudden, I, I, uh, I go here? Pike will, will yeah. double down and say, uh, I'm not done yet, and I will use Ace Pilot. One last oh. trick up my sleeve. Pike uses his Ace Pilot skills to quickly flip the sparrow over his oh, target so. and reposition behind them. Uh, once per turn, if the sparrow is within 15 feet of another ship, I can use 30 feet of movement to maneuver behind them. If positioned in the targets of the aft, the sparrow crits on an 18, 19, or 20. Whoa. So, if the DM will allow it. That's fine. Uh, but I do have to shoot around my friend, uh, LaBouche. Why does uh, everyone keep shooting at me? <laughs> um, so I will use Ace Pilot, which I assume that doesn't mean I can use my blasters twice. I can only use my blasters once then, since I've Ace Piloted. Uh, I think that, is that say that's a bonus action? or is that It doesn't. It just says that's my maneuver, no, but then I can make an attack. You call it bonus action. And then I and then I'll just make one attack. No, no, no you can use two, two blaster attacks. Action. Yeah. You have to take right. my damage first. Oh yes, I, I did. rolled minimum damage. No, that's fine. That's two good. Damage. Oh, and then the strength, the strength check. Oh shit! Even with my special ability. Yeah. Fuck. What, what do I <laughs> yeah. add to it? My my plus, character strength. Uh, or my, yeah, just do, add your whatever your ship or whatever your plus is. Yeah, my ship that's what plus to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very generous. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, balance thing. Eighteen. Oh, okay. 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 Holy shit. Uh, so I use my ace pilot maneuvers, being rejuvenated by Dandy's uh, amazing uh, stellar space magic, and I'll make two attacks. Uh, nine plus eight is seventeen. That's the AC. Seventeen hits. Yeah. yeah. Twelve. It's a hit. Uh, it's a twenty, dirty twenty. It's not a not uh, they a. They both hit. 20. They both hit. Uh, so I will do four d six plus twelve, as I light this guy up. Max damage six, nine, six is 15. fifteen, sixteen, sixteen plus fourteen is thirty points of damage. Oh, because oh, it's okay. Four okay. Four d six plus twelve. Yeah. Okay. Fucked up. Twenty eight. Yeah. You're right. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. Sweet. Twenty eight. You see him do this as it looks almost like you're gonna cream forward and crash, but just in your cosmic game of chicken, you pull up and swirl over top of him in in just a beautiful arcing barrel roll, just like the flight of a sparrow. As you pull just behind the Labouche and you open fire, unleashing into the back of uh, of Bracken, uh, just completely peppering him with blasts. You tried a somersault. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn. Yeah. Uh, perfect, Kavir. Woo. All right, what do we got? Uh, okay. Quick question, mm-hmm. uh, clarifying question on mm-hmm. the uh, special ability mm-hmm. you have for me. Uh, doesn't mention a length of time, so is that once it starts, it's just perpetually around me? That's fine for now. Yeah, Excellent. it's not gonna, it's not gonna be relevant. <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah. It's uh, gonna be like three rounds. That's yeah. more than reasonable. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Um, all right, so I will start by using sandstorm. Oh yeah, uh, let's go. So I will sort of. Flick the hourglass, the top of the hourglass open, uh, and the sand will pour out from the hourglass and start surrounding the ship, but violently swirling uh, in a 20-foot radius sphere around me. Uh, any enemy target that enters the space takes 2d6 plus 7 force damage, and an enemy that begins its turn within the sandstorm must take 2d6 damage, buffeted by the storm before exiting. So I don't think it does immediate damage now. I believe it does. Oh, well, okay. Okay. as we summon enter. it, yeah. As I summon it, perfect. All right. uh, yeah. And he should still be at disadvantage, I think, from my one thing because all of those yes. were in the, the scream. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. scream. I'll also need uh, red damage for me, poor for uh, four. And uh, the saving throw. If, once I move. Once you move. Yeah. Eight, eighteen. Eighteen. What? Forced him. Holy, holy. Eighteen. I rolled almost. Max. You've done more damage to me than the boss. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> holy guacamole. This is how you balance things. Man. Yeah. You give everyone you give so much power. Yeah. It's like you guys do the boss fight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll do the two d six. Look, space uh, is dangerous. Yeah. Okay. Three. It's definitely. You, you can't control yeah. these things. And oh wait, sorry. Three and seven. So ten damage to that ship. That's three. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's three? Yeah, yeah, that's three. And then... Interesting, I gotta figure out how to get through this. And that procs your passive? It does proc my passive? Mm -hmm. Oh, stupendous. Any attack you so land good. on a ship procs your passive. Perfect, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, so I'm gonna use the speed I get from going towards that space hole. Uh, so we'll do two forward and okay. then one to the right. Oh, but I need to do the strength. Well, if I'm going towards it, I don't need the strength saving. Throw. Not, yep. not, not yet. towards no. it. Okay. And you would move double your speed. So that's yeah, five, so you only so five, ten. When you go here, yeah. So now I need to, roll, to do the roll. roll it, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's plus strength. You might be okay. Uh, eight and it's plus your ship. It's just plus your ship. Oh, yeah, plus yeah, my ship attack, fifteen. That passes. Nice. Passes. Ooh. Ooh. So then that's now I'm back wow. to the ten, right? I so that's five, ten, yeah. twenty. Yep. Thirty, and then. 40, and I'll turn 50. That should check out. Yeah, so that's my turn. Cool, LaBouche. I take some damage. <laughs> seven. How much? Uh, seven points of damage. Because he whispers. Seven. Seven Ds. Seven Ds. Good for her. Feel everything, <laughs> and um, <laughs> now I need to make a strength saving throw. If you're moving, a strength away from save. It. Yep. If yeah. your next uh, ability is to move. Okay, I pass. I hit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> your athletics contest. contest. Yeah, what is it? I'm still just adding eight. You, you add whatever hit. your plus is. Whatever your plus is. I get is. a thirteen. Uh, I got a fourteen. <laughs> so so you succeed. Yeah. So I take the damage. So you Thank take the damage. God. And yeah. you bounce back. And you bounce back. You take the but you can you bounce turn. back and you can turn. Now I'm going to turn yep. that way. And now I'm going <coughs> to fuck this guy up right down here. So you roll one damage die. Or whatever your normal damage yeah, die Yeah, whatever is. your normal attack Pike. is, give me that damage. Oh, shit. What, I mean, what is your... Maybe... It's 2d6 plus 6. Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Oh roll low. God. Roll low! Oh. <laughs> 16 <laughs> points of fucking damage. How much... What variety of damage? Uh, it it's bludgeoning. It's, it's yeah. Smashing. It's just it's just oh, yeah. my blaster. Any oh, crash, no, no, then but I start blasting. So I I take half because oh, I'm a beefy motherfucker, excellent. and I'm still just like we play. Just, yeah, like, yeah, we play. just, just like, like we play. Just like we threw it up. Excuse me. And, uh, <laughs> now I Get will. Uh, I have used. I, I don't know how much I've used, but um, um, one, two, three. Two, three. Okay, so I still have one more. Terrific. Then let's fucking go. Uh, I'll use the juicers. Uh, what number is that? Three? God damn, these die. I feel very labushy. Uh, 11 and 13. That's 16 is the AC. Oh. Can twist I use one of them. Twist yeah, twist yeah, 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 yeah. For, for I mean, see how the uh, battle's doing. For Pete's sake. Nope. Oh! 13. Uh, then I ram into him. Athletics <laughs> contest. You're just a wrecking ball, 14. dude. I love yeah. it. Uh, 15. Uh, oh! nat nat natural 15, I should say. Uh, so I ram into him. This time I'll do 2d10. I love that you just are just like, fuck it, we ball. <laughs> yeah. I rolled a 100 on, uh, <laughs> on a, that's 20. Uh, that's going to be 28 Plus points 28. of wow. uh, bludgeoning damage. He's gone. Get him out of here. <laughs> yeah. Get I'm him the out of here. Bitch. <laughs> I am the dreadnought, the bitch. <laughs> the math that really quick. Um. Oh, oh, that doesn't happen yet. Okay, okay. And I'll bounce back, and do I get another turn? No, you succeed. No, you succeed, you go through. Oh, thank God. And you can turn. You don't have to go directly through. You can turn. Yeah, you can like, turn while movement. you're going through. If you want to oh, go really? in a different direction. Yeah. yeah. I'll go here. Oh. Um, as you just absolutely careen oh, through this been. ship, uh, you just like crack one off one, one of its right? wings it's as it's coming. looking oh, sure. really fucking bad. Uh, it's sparking and crackling as energy is just coursing out of a wing on the left side. Uh, it does have sands of time. It doesn't take that damage yet. Okay. I don't. No, think. no, but I mean, I didn't know if it was below ten HP. It's only if that damage puts it below ten HP. Ah. Uh, I think. Okay. Okay. If I remember, so you're, 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 it's, your, it's your world. I'm just living in it. You're thinking. Yeah, yeah. Of, you're thinking of should, sands of a regular. Should this damage <laughs> reduce the ship below? Yep. 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 yep, 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 yep. Um, Fine. Fine. 
<laughs> Where are we even at? Oh, oh Mary. God. Uh, oh no, Dandy. Paragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Roll, roll the damage. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Oh, you right, bastard. Right, right. Yeah. He's got maybe he'll maybe he'll fail the throw and, and nineteen. Be, oh, there's yeah. actually. I was gonna say there's a, there's a chance there. There's a chance Holy there. Shit. Almost maxed. It, it, it didn't fucking hit him. Yeah. Damn. Um. Those are crazy damage. God, how I math this? Oh, okay. <laughs> You kind of just like fire your thing, and now you're just like <laughs> you've been like coasting around. Yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. getting fucked. <laughs> Space time is He's rippling, and getting destroyed, around. and you're yeah. just kind of yeah. like scooting along. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Bracken will careen forward, turn to the right, see Dandy, uh, fire his blasters twice. Um, I'm gonna evade. I'm gonna have primal is, instinct and just try oh, and like. Yeah, she's in the cone. Like yeah. One is a 14, one is a 27. Yeah, that's why. Um, one of them, the 27 definitely hit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sure does. Yeah. 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 Aren't you only at disadvantage? Still for the primal screen? No, there's only one. Did I roll a disadvantage or something? Mandalorian? No, fortunately. I mean, uh, he's had a turn since then. Oh, okay. It ain't me starting. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry. Oh, wow. <laughs> On their next it roll, it was CCR. It uh, 19 oh, points of blaster damage oh. as it uh, fires out and lands one cannon blast on you. Okay. Uh, it then, <laughs> he then will continue forward and just ram straight through you. Did he make a strength saving throw? He did make. Yeah. Uh, oh. he's, he's he's ramming. He's turning. He's he's turn. He saw how good it was working for the bush. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. gonna. That's a big old ship. Uh, it's like a Roomba so hitting a doormouth. <laughs> <laughs> Athletics contest. <laughs> I'm with you, yeah. Oh no! I rolled in. Uh, I rolled a sixteen. I have a twenty-four. You can do this. Come on, that twenty. The audio. Oh! Oh! No fucking way! No fucking way! Twisted Dread. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could uh, if it were Nikki. Roll, roll your, roll your damage. And what, what am I? You just roll, roll one, one, one of your hits. hits. Oh, that yeah. Unbelievable! Okay, well done. All right. Ooh, so that one. is um, Rich. fourteen Back damage. Fourteen damage. Wow! Phew. Nice. This pterodactyl is an athlete. Yeah, sure <laughs> How do you want to do this? <gasps> <gasps> Can I do anything? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, power. yeah. Well, it's a power. You collide. Yeah, yeah. I would say the the constellations are gonna like move from off of Pike, and just kind of the as meteors, they're gonna turn red like magma meteors, and just start firing at the boss. Sick. The constellations see, see that Bracken is coming for you. The stars shine and glow as they uh, circle with a fiery power. They move with lightning speed as they fire completely horizontal and just pepper through the hull of Bracken's ship, destroy, dismantling it and destroying its energy. Uh, you'll see as his ship will autopilot back to uh, the Saurian home base uh, ship. As he will uh, full bombing run, fu- yeah, of <laughs> um, 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 magma, boom, boom, magma boom, boom, boulders. Boom, boom. Uh, as Bracken will uh, fly back to the ship. Oh, what does he say? Looks like you'll have the bounty this time, but we'll be back, Rhapsody. We'll be back, Bracken. We're gonna have to have a talk. No, he says, well done, kid. Now try my new challenge. Collect all my golden balloons <laughs> around the racetracks and Dino Dome. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry, all I can think of is tricky the Triceratops. Oh god. Get my golden balloons. Well, there's still one guy left, so it's to somebody else. Oh, he's still this guy's still. How do I want to do that? Is that three? No, three still over there. Oh really? Yeah. Oh sorry. Oh shit. I turned off the camera. I assumed that he wanted to go back. Alright. Let me just waste this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? Who's I don't know. I forget where it's he Mike. was. Oh, no, no. no. It's, it's Bosch. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, boss yeah monster thing. Oh, that's where the boss basically ended himself. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. It's now, so now it's Labouche and Chuckles, right? Uh, roll, 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 roll a death save. It's, it's, it's his turn. It's his turn. Death. Dex. Well, death, death save. It's up to Chuckles. Roll a death save throw. Oh, death save. Natural twenty. Oh my God! 
This is on the spot ship combat rules. A natural 20 allows uh, the Rhapsody to repair you immediately, and you come out of the Rhapsody with 10 health. Oh, Ten thank you, Pit Droid. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank you very much. Where are you going to go? I like to picture that your spaceship flew into the dock and there was a giant whoopee cushion. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and then all of it, like, it <laughs> Are our dice loaded today or something? Probably. I don't know. That's amazing. Well, uh, I gave you all of my yeah. dice energy. Yeah, yeah honestly. Uh, well, now it's his turn. <laughs> Red. Unless Chuckles gets to take his you turn. Can you can take an action. Oh, you can take, oh and this yeah. guy. Move and take dude. an action. Oh, I'm sure this is very expensive. <laughs> Red's gonna be upset. <laughs> I beg, baby Bracken, I'm going to ki Oh! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there's one strike to the left. Okay, I'm filled with the murderous rage. <laughs> Holy oh, shit. I lost my ability. It's really hard to navigate around your allies. This is it a very, is. very yeah, fun yeah. thing. Uh, especially I really when it's always like collision and not like a chance to yeah. Evade. The yeah, thing yeah. I've always thought about, uh, like normal space. combat, yeah. is movement never feels like relevant. Like yeah. you just kind of like get to a spot just and just stop. Yeah, you know. And so I really want it to be like I love movement the force is very movement. important. It's no, it's exactly. very important. It feels like there's it. someone with a hand on your back yeah. pushing you around <clears throat> the yep. entire time, and yeah. that feels awesome. I yes. love, yep. I love I the like chaos that, yeah. of it. Uh, hey, Dino Boy. Smell my flower! <laughs> and on the, there's like a big mm. creepy like clown face. <laughs> on, on the UFO. On the UFO. And there'll be like right in its, on its, uh, on its <laughs> side, a gigantic red flower as uh, a just a burst <laughs> of like acid, this horrible acid <laughs> blasts forward. And I'm going to make two attacks with it. Um, oh, the first one will certainly hit with a 23. <laughs> That'll hit. <clears throat> oh, that's cocked. AC 16. Okay. 13 to 20. Okay, now I do some damage. 2d8. Uh, where's my d8? Doesn't this look like a happy face to you? It does. Oh, <laughs> like a, like a oh, moth. It looks like a moth. Uh, the moth I definitely see. Yeah. Happy face. I, I see like an oni. 23? Like an oni yeah. mask. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> 23 plus That's pretty 11. Cool. Uh, 33 points of damage. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> the sands of time just destroy this guy. Yeah, oh uh, yeah. Uh, you say all that, and the flower erupts and kind of pulses. As, as oh. It oh no! Yeah, we can't escape it. No. As it fires, I propose we kill Chuckles. <laughs> you get a green, watery stream oh. right from your ship. It lands full blast on oh, this, uh, oh, on the sorry ship. This fucking bounty. And it just, <laughs> it just, the acid rips it apart, and it is destroyed. Oh, for, for the yeah. intro, for the intro. It's destroyed? It's destroyed. Get him out of here. It's the bomb that explodes for the yeah. your character. I was this close to pulling the trigger on, like, what is very obviously, like, a, a, a jet of, of material flag. And I was like, mm, no, no, can't do it. <laughs> Could have done it. Oh God, uh, no, God no. You see the Saurian ships, those who could uh, eject the pilots flying back to uh, their larger home base. You see uh, Bracken's ship blasting back into the hangar uh, as the their bay closes and their ship turns uh, and begins to, to fly away. Uh, you have now ability to move forward to your target without any additional interference from the Ironside Space Pirates. We dock? And do we, yeah, do we feel like we can all land on this asteroid or do we feel like we need to return to the Rhapsody take and the take the minivan? minivan? You, you feel as though you could just uh, dock on the asteroid. Oh, all right. <laughs> Hey guy, that was pretty wild. <laughs> Rat, we need to talk about your horrible Kilotron 5000. Yes, that was very painful. I felt every inch of that. <laughs> I land I land on the surface of the asteroid. That was one giant step for La Bouche. <laughs> that was another giant step for La Bouche. <laughs> How long have you been waiting to say that one, Babouche? For three months. <laughs> Oh, and uh, as you have bested your enemies and you've landed on the asteroid, uh, you will begin uh, to seek out the entrance to 
the hidden lair. You land on the surface of this asteroid. Uh, you look around briefly, understanding. All your ships come down. You begin to scan the surface, understanding uh, what Hank was pointing out, why this felt uh, different. Uh, Rhett, roll an investigation check. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm pretty good at this. Oh. Twist it. Yeah, let's twist yeah, it. Let's let's twist, twist, twist it. it. Fuck it. Are you, are you knocking out? Which... Oh, no, he's chain. got the He's got the dots. Yikes. It's fate. Uh, two. Yeah. Ten. Ten. With a ten. Uh, as you all land, you begin to look around. You start to search. You make your way over to a section of the asteroid where you see kind of an oddly domed rock. Mm. A little too smooth, a little too uh, perfect. You would expect that uh, things would be crashing into this constantly. The surface of an asteroid is not smooth. There are no rocks on here without flaw. Uh, and as you make move towards it, uh, you almost clumsily step on a section of dirt that protruded uh, a little beyond uh, out of the out of the surface. And as you do, uh, the space of this cracks open, revealing a staircase leading into deeper into the asteroid. And that is where we'll end session one.